<risa> ¿Qué huele pelados? My Grito Parques Network les presenta Are popping up on the laptop. <laughs> I don't know, but they can't see that. This episode is brought to you by Baby Jesus, Jesus Cristo. El niño came to stop by because pues ahora es el día de la Guadalupana. It's also Ramon. Yeah, right? ahora comienza es el comienzo de Guadalupe Reyes. Starts from December 12th to January 6th. Unless you're Christianos, no? Yeah. Or Atheist. anything else. Or, yeah. Mormon. Jehovah. And then it's just another day for you, so don't worry about it. Yeah. So, para todos los que, los católicos. Musicos. Andale. <laughs> religiosos. Ahora es, el comienzo de, ahora es el comienzo de Guadalupe Reyes. You know, Tuesday, December 12th. So, so, Ramon. so if you're fucking born today, you're a Lupe, Ramon. You, said. You're gonna yeah. name me Lupe. Well, like I, we were talking about. Pues ya bajale la música, ¿no? Fuck, wey. My, my bad, wey. I know, right? Shit, wey. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that was like the fucking. The, the fucking luchador fucking cut off, wey. Now, hey, hey, you gotta stop this, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking taking this bout type of shit, wey. I know, seriously. That's a little weird. Yeah, so uh, I was telling the guys that fucking a good 70% of from, I guess I would say, of our age or maybe even our parents' age back, if you were born on December 12, no matter if you were a guy or a girl, you were named Guadalupe. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so what then, was the excuse the rest of the year? I don't know. Maybe they had a manda. They're like, oh, you know, sabes que virgencita? Sí. I'll believe that if Lupe Bronco was, was born on that day, then I'll believe Probably. it. Probably. You know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe look it up for right. Guadalupe Esparza. If, you were, if he was born on that day, then that's accurate. If not, he's making something up. Again. <laughs> I'm only going with my family because I know I have um, oh, shit, it's fl- I have a tío really falling apart and I have a tío. And then uh, you start running into people like, oh, yeah, es que nacieron en en el día 12 de diciembre, you know, so les pusieron Lupe. Hay otros que because they 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 made a he they made born. a pact with the Virgin Mary, like wherever you know, if their child whatever was born, they were named after that. Mm. Yeah, and then you have names, <laughs> then you have names that depending on the day they were born, they give it. They're given the 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 saint name. Le dicen el nombre de pila. Oh shit! You know Epifanio, ah cabrón, San Epifanio. Or, You, you were telling me you, uh, you had an uncle... <laughs> Fortunato. Fortunato. He's pretty fortunate to be born, bro. Yeah. Took it as a blessing. Yeah. 
You made your, it. Your compa Lupe was born fucking October 12th. Wait. Oh, oh, come on. See, bro? All right. Oh, I'm just saying. get your days confused, boy. No, oh, I'm not. 12 I'm, December. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm just telling you a good 70% of what I know. That's that's what it is. You know, I'm sure there's going to be 70% is kind of high, no? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking high, it's bro. not 90. He said 70% of the Mexicans. <laughs> Man, it's not 90. Of, but that's what I'm saying from like our parents' age or our age back. I'm not saying now. You know, a I good seventy percent. But I'm sure. Well, why would it have changed? I'm sure. I'm sure there's because uh, yeah, la gente was, like, in Mexico, doesn't Mexico. I don't think it's changed that much. Where I see that they're still names. pretty they're, predominantly they're, I mean, Catholic out there. You think? But then you get a lot of a lot of younger people having kids that are naming their kids Brandon or fucking Brandon. Yeah, no, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon. Oh, les ponen el pinche el Chris yes. el Chris el Chris Chris. Uh, what was the other one I heard the other day? It's, it's a, an actor. Se me hace que le pusieron Bradley. Or Bradley. Bradley. Yeah. Bradley. Bradley. And the way they say, you know, se llama Bradley. <laughs> Bradley. I'm like, what? Pero. Oh, Bradley. Oh, okay. They figured um, they, they can get more in life as a Brandon than a fucking Fortunato. Or a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero todavía es... <laughs> Pero nació el día de hoy, chingados. It's a... Uh, 70%. <laughs> 70%. That's pretty high, right? <laughs> Is he right? That's pretty fucking high, right? Brandon Corona. <laughs> Cabrón. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Baby, Jesus, a pesa. Wait, you said you were going to do the whole episode. I'm switching them over. Yeah, two minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to tag team with what we can. <laughs> Jesucristo. Holy shit, man. Yeah, you can't you, you can see this over fucking audio, pero uh, I got, yeah. got the I baby got, Jesus, bro. I got baby Jesus on my lap. I'll take a picture so so they can see. So they can see it's not fake. And he says it's heavy. Fucking little doll. Uh, you weighed him. <laughs> yeah, he a, says you weigh, it weighs more than your guitar. He's like a little piggy, man. You sure he doesn't have a slice on his head where you, you put quarters in? <laughs> <laughs> he's not rattling. <laughs> <laughs> he's not rattling, you know. Turn him into a little fucking piggy uh, bank. Yeah, I got to hollow him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How do you, nah, he's not solid, is he? Yeah, he's solid. Are you sure? Oh, maybe because he's fucking... Not solid, way. I don't think it's seventy percent solid. He said seventy <laughs> percent. At least the limbs. I think if he was solid, he would be heavy. Heavy, right? Yeah. Okay. Esto es de hasta hecho de yeso, I almost forgot your fucking slice him up, bro. I almost forgot his fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Remote wearing a knee brace, so he keeps going to Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> I'm going the route. I'm going the Stink Cold Austin route. <laughs> the, the Stink Cold Diesel. <laughs> stink Cold. Stink Cold. Steve Cold. Steve. Stone Cold. Way. Stone Cold. Uh, I had it ready, toys. I'm gonna be that way. Why are you making fun? His knee problem is serious. Where we thought it was like a little fucking thing, but apparently it's, we can't make fun of it. Where it's a legit fucking it's a legit issue. injury, bro. <laughs> We're past that way. <laughs> I don't know. It's too. No, no one told uh, Jesus when. It's and he put he starts it off in his bad fucking know, side. Right? <laughs> I had him on the yeah with I'm the like, little guy with the weight well, of the world on, on the, his shoulders. On my, <laughs> I had him on my wrist, you know. Holy shit, bro! Shit, yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm rethinking this whole. Carrying them through the whole episode, eh? I mean, for somebody that's not religious, where you sure keep tabs of like dates and stuff, still, eh? It's still well, pretty, I mean, an important it, part of your lot, life, or? yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta remember, I grew up, I'm not gonna say I grew up in a very religious home, but we grew up in a home where like we knew certain dates, we knew certain traditions, the or, Los Santos, yeah. You know. You know, like I don't know the day that like the Los Santos. We, right? Like mm. uh, now, my parents um they've been doing the rosary constantly, and um, back in the days we were doing on certain occasions, especially we if someone in the family passed away, yes, in el novenario. Mm. You know, so we would do it. It wasn't like always, but we knew it. You know, we we knew <clears throat> the responses. We knew what days it was. You know, the misterioso, glorioso, penoso. What is the other <coughs> misterioso way? Um, I I don't have the answer for that because there's uh, there, uh, there's I think that like uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is son unos días. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is otro, and then Sunday se me hace que es el el, glorio, el glorioso. That's when he was risen. Mm. You know, so I think the day that lands on a Friday, I think those are the penosos because that's when he passed away. Mm, sure. You know, and los gozosos are the other ones. Uh, you know. ¿Y cuándo son los golosos? 
<laughs> All year. <laughs> All annual. The, the rest of the year. Way. The rest of the year. 70% when you're not of the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, 70% is the number for this episode. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Feeling, 70%. I have a feeling 70% is going to come out alive in this episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he was pretty confident. I was it? confident. I was in a party. Before we started, <laughs> well, like, fuck I'm afraid it. of Google. Eh? I'm afraid of fucking Google that, that shit, fuck. bro. Check out, anyway. <laughs> you know? So who knows? I mean, maybe he said he was born October 12, but maybe this is the 12 that they're going with, you know? They oh, he's still one. fucking good. <laughs> who That's knows? A, that seems like a stretch, bro. Hey, I didn't name him. I didn't name him, but I, this, that's what I remember. That's what I've heard, and that's what people mention it, like, like, Los que nacen el 12 de diciembre automatically, back in those days, no te queda de otra, Guadalupe. You think, what, you think it'll take you a long time to get used to having a name like Guadalupe? Not that it's a bad name. I'm just saying, like, you know how kids are. Where well, you brought up a good point. If that was the equivalent to the Johnny Cash song. A boy named Sue? Yeah. But, I mean, it must be. I mean, I've known a few Lupas in my life, and and I feel like they always have a little weight on their shoulder, bro. Did you? Did you? Would you clown them on their name? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember because it was junior high, but I'm sure. I'm sure we clown them. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We're gonna burn this one early. This is seventy percent of your compas. Seventy <laughs> percent of your compas, right? <laughs> seven. Is that what he said? That seventy percent of Americans seven? are Lupas? No, 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 Back, like, oh, <laughs> that's a lot. yeah, you know. So 70% of the population before us. Yeah. Was, I don't like, know, I, because I, I don't know, but like, if the younger generation even does that, if that's part of the tradition now, or, or, um, como se dice, if they keep that up. Well, you just told Brandon me that Lupe. Brandon now. <laughs> yeah, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon Lupe. <laughs> What about that rapper, Lupe? Is, is he fucking December 12th? I have no idea. I don't know what rapper that is. Lupe Fiasco? Se llama el güey? Ah, fuck. Ah, cabrón. Shit. No? No? Ay, güey. See, it's, a, it's fucking, it's pride now, bro. <laughs> you own that shit. I know, seriously. Maybe it's not that, that's not what it used to be anymore, güey. Mm-hmm. No, people change their names to Lupe. Mm-hmm. I have, I'm gonna tell you, I have a tia and a tío. Oh, my tío passed away recently. Um, Guadalupe. Mm-hmm. Y él nació el 12 de diciembre. That's great. But is it, did you base your theory around that deal? No, that's what I. <laughs> this is what. You, this is. Look, like, nobody confirmed this. This is shit that you grow up listening or hearing or whatever. Or like, oh, yo, ¿por qué le pusieron Lupe or whatever? Oh, porque, because yo también, I was curious. Like, I thought that was a girl's name. You know, Guadalupe? Yeah. I thought that was a girl's name. But then you start hearing got kids or, or tios or older guys. Y, oye, ¿por qué le pusieron Guadalupe? ¿Por qué le pusieron? Oh, porque nació el 12 de diciembre. I'm like, huh? <laughs> and then you start realizing, oh, because this is the Dia de la Guadalupana. Oh. <clears throat> it's stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you're never the preguntón. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, man. It's, it's that enough, boy. And that's the answer that was given. Yeah. It wasn't a survey. It wasn't like fucking. It's uh, it's written that like <laughs> survey, <you laughs> survey. Know? A, a Gallup poll. I know, like the cien mexicanos dijeron. You know, <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> you know, it's just shit that you hear that you know about your family. And, that she's and then you go back and I'm like, oh shit! And then you meet if you meet someone and like, oh, que se llama Lupe, whatever. Like, hey, you were born on December 12th. Like, yeah, how'd you know? I'm like, okay. You know your name. <laughs> so it must be true. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it adds up, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It adds up. I have veces que me sale como ahorita que Fernie le dice, ¿Este es el 12 de diciembre? No. No, yo nací el 15 de enero. I'm like, oh, cabrón, all right. That doesn't add up. You know, maybe it was Amanda. Who knows? Maybe the mom or the dad were settled on that name no matter what. Yeah. No, there you go, way. He was going to be a Mauricio, pero... A Mauricio? But he was born fucking 1201, not 12. Oh, man, he just missed the cut. <laughs> Sorry, bro, it's got to be a looping now. Yeah. <laughs> fucking A. Hey, we'll take a shot every time he switches the baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> a little more. We don't have our sponsor anymore. No, <laughs> no more mezcal, way. It's two shots so far. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> uh, yeah, he weighs a little, bro. Uh, no, no, he was pretty heavy. We were just making fun of him. Maybe you want to keep him off the bed, knee. No, seriously. It's, it's, he's on my, oh, on, on, my on my arm. It's crazy because, like, with the cold weather, I mean, like, little paints like that hurt, no way? Yeah. Like, even more? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Fucking no sé qué hice el otro día. Like, me pegué against the door or whatever. Like, fuck that thing. Yeah, just fucking hurts. Fucking hurt. It's like we're in California, where it's not, not, cold. It's not that crazy, where, but it's. Still, I mean, I'm surprised you're wearing a jacket, where you never. 
I never see you wearing jackets. Oh, I know, right? Te dio frío this morning or what? Yeah, yeah no, no me dio frío lento, güey. Mm. I'm a little sensitive. I guess. What's going on with you, güey? I'm kind of worried about you. Um, I'm telling you. It's just... Te ves medio a wheat soy, güey. <laughs> Dude, my knee, is, my knee is in pain. Really? Yeah. Yeah, güey. You get that in the doctor? No, they don't give you the good stuff? Yeah, they give me, well, what they give me is an anti-inflammatory. I think it's a naproxen or naproxen or uh -huh. naproxen. Common one. No Vicodin or fucking Nah, nothing? nah, nah. I don't nah. want no, no, no. We don't want to see on intervention. I know. I don't, don't, don't want to give the Sacklers any money, eh? Uh, Ramon. <laughs> Fuck that, eh? <laughs> Ramon had a softball injury and now he's fucking stealing from cars to buy fucking <laughs> heroin. Instead of stealing second, he's stealing from cars. <laughs> Come out of the studio. Te va a faltar tu cat. Ya te lo transió. Ramon, if you want heroin, just tell me. I'll buy it for you. Don't steal my shit, bro. Don't be that where's, guy. Where's the fun in that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's part of it. I mean, you can't fucking, you know, go through life getting free stuff. You got to earn your, your fucking... <sighs> tu catalítico, güey, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. I mean, we joke around, way, but a lot of these people that get on heroin, this, it starts off with a car accident or some... Oh, yeah, a back pain or something. Something like that, yeah. yeah. A work yeah. injury. Um, yeah, wey, the pinche is some serious shit, no? No, it is, way, And it fucks up your liver pretty bad, I mean, with those pills and all that stuff. Mm, I mean, they, That no, might they be the lo, 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 lo menos, no? Yeah. <laughs> At that point. I mean, they're little lollipops, the fentanyl that the doctor gives people. And oh, gets, shit. Gets they come little, in lollipops? Yeah, it comes in like a lollipop form. I don't know it came in a lollipop, way. Yeah, they have little That's lollipops. Oh, fentanyls. shit. So it's crazy they put these people on these fucking masks, way. And but I mean they do help, way. I mean I'm not gonna tell you like fuck, way. These people just want to get high, like they do. They do. They help. They work until they don't, way. And that's the problem is that. I mean the, they work too well, no? They work too well, and then you start taking them just to take. I mean I had a friend that would take like, I think at, at the peak he was taking like maybe 25 Vicodin a day. Oh, what the fuck? fuck? Yeah, like a lot, way. Like in between there's, paletas There's not even 25 no, hours in it was a just day pills. Yeah the Vicodin five. Oh well, you take a couple Every fucking Two an hour Three Like you just Probably Like Skittles like tic -tacs Yeah like Tic Tacs Shit And he was a tattoo artist So it's not like yeah. He was like driving The whole day He's literally sitting In the fucking chair And he would just You you would, It gets to the point Where the only reason You knew <laughs> is because You knew But like you, He was just Putting some fucking Tic Tac in his mouth Or something You just didn't think They develop like a skill where they can do it like really good where you just don't even you, like a five hour tattoo. This guy's fucking pop like 10 pills already. Shit, But then it, it affects like his, his sex life. Like he would have to take, he would have to take, like if we, he went out with a girl, he would take some uh, Vicodin to relax and then he would have to take Viagra to fucking tirar palo because that just kills your fucking hard on's way. <laughs> Like, it's non-existent at that point. But then now you're just fucking... Yeah, you're all you're, fucking whack. You're popping pills and you're doing all kind of shit. Pero el pinche... Yeah, those pinche... Pinche addictions are cabrones, güey. Yeah, that's like I said, they work until they don't. Well, the, it's que también, I mean, once they start giving them to you, I don't... I, don't, I mean, they they ask you fucking... And you might even sign some shit, no? Que dice que, que you're not an addict. But what if you don't even know, güey? Yeah. What if you don't know if you, you, don't, you got that fucking little gene, way in your... Yeah. You didn't know... You fucking... You didn't know your dad or some shit, way. Porque ese güey se fucking was an addict or something. No one wanted to tell mm. you some shit. No? And then you fucking, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm good, güey. Then te fucking, te pega, güey. Who knows, güey? Mm, yeah. I mean, it's interesting, like, how, like, when you start, like, dividing, like, the races and, like, not races, like, the different races, like, white or whatever, how, like, certain drugs, like, I know, I know, Raza takes pills. There's obviously uh, a drug. Desenfriol. Different, different kind of drug addicts. They have different ethnicities and there's obviously people that are white that do X amount of drugs, the whole spectrum. There's black people that do it. But like for the most part, like Raza, they're not even like big, really big on like pills. You really hardly see people like Raza that are hooked on like pills. Like it's usually like a different drug. And that's always been interesting to me how different, different groups of people like gravitate towards like different, like you hardly see like the black community on meth. Like, they, they don't fuck with meth that much. Obviously, there are some, but as a whole, 
<laughs> That's very interesting to me all that way, huh? Fucking people gravitate to Fucking certain raza drugs. are addicted to fucking Bud Light, way, or fucking chelas. Every, se compran su pinche tall boys, a three pack. Pues, también es que a, no, a day. no vamos al doctor, way. How are they going to prescribe us something? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Everything's pinche. Puro vaporú. Vaporú con hierbabuena. I mean, but, it, but I, I, I was one of the families that I was, uh, that I dated in. Um, they they were pretty fucking. They were pretty crazy people. Where and the grandma, you don't even have to go to the doctor. You literally made something up to go to the doctor. Like she would pull out her teeth. Oh, and oh, then they would shit. fucking prescribe her Vicodin because she was hooked on Vicodin. So like you you make shit up. If you're an addict way and you're fucking into some shit, you're gonna do whatever you can to fucking grab that. They're too good, bro. They, I mean, they're too they're, good. I I heard a thing too about the. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I heard the fucking like the, the fentanyl up was because man made one que fucking where we fucked up for it. I mean, it was not we fucked up, but the, they made it worse. Where that the companies to save those pinchy pennies and they fucking send the manufacturing to China, please. We send our manufacturing even for drugs now. Yeah. To China way. Yeah. So now all the illegal shit comes from China, pues. Yeah. Well, and they just copied it from the fucking, the other ones that were making it legit for the paletas, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, the, the cartels have fucking chemists and people from China and, and they, or they had, and now they fucking say, you know what? We don't need you guys anymore. We can do it all in house. Well, yeah, they, they, they essentially fucking, I don't know if they traded them or les pagan for, for essentially the recipe way. And these vatos just send them like the little precursor or some shit way. Yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of deals happening. Way like that, that the U.S. has no control over. Way. And I don't think the U.S. really wants that problem to be fixed. Way the 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 addiction, drug addiction problem. Because think about how many jobs would be lost if people just stopped using drugs. Way when I mean, you're talking about funding for police departments, you're talking about funding for like um, rehab places. That let's be honest, way sometimes they don't. They're they're just experimenting. Like sometimes these places don't know what to do with these people, but they have to do something. Just imagine how many tax dollars going into programs would be lost if more people would just not be addicted to drugs and just kind of live a fucking normal life. Not. I think that well, I think that the cop one's a good argument. When you take away all that funding and shit, way. Oh, we have a drug problem. Where well, you don't need this money. Yeah, it's it sucks, boy. It sucks, bro. But I know my my friend right here would not get into fucking. Just this isn't the gateway drug. The, pues, the gateway fucking. Pues it's, it's el pedo. You don't know, way. Like, don't you start fucking? Because they, they at the like the hospital they start weaning you off, but. But I don't think, dude. I don't think this dude will fucking get on pills. No, and I don't. I, I. I mean, it's never say never, bro. Right? That's all. Yeah, it's but one I of those where I like. I just don't think this dude. It's one of those where like, yeah, I'll take um, come to go. I'll take ibuprofen or I'll take Tylenol, whatever. But it's not one of those where like. Fucking, I need them, you know? Yeah. I only take them, yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, all right. Ya me duele esta madre, maybe I should take it. But I mean, por ahí también, también a veces empiezan, <clears throat> em, empiezan, em, empiezan la gente, too. They, start, they take the ibuprofen, then they take the, like, the oh, 800. Of course, where? And then that's not enough way, so then you slowly escalate, and before you know, like, like tu vato saying, you fucking end up on heroin and shit, way. But you don't, you don't think that, that these people that end up on that, they already have, like, like a trait? Like, yeah, if you yeah, really analyze saying. them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not even, like, in like in, in their genes, like, just their personality, like, you you know, like, and then, and then obviously, it's a, an assumption, but, like, some, sometimes people, you you know them enough to be like, if that person ever got, yeah. if that person ever got on fucking Vicodin, oh, they, yeah, would, they would go off the fucking. I, I've been offered Vicodin by people. I'm like, eh, no thanks. Yeah. Nah, Chalice, I'll pass. Yeah, I don't see you fucking going that route. Right or looking for a fucking name, hey, man. You got some Vicodin? You got some. I don't know. I don't know what most of these drugs do, but Soloft or. What's the those other are, one? Those are yeah, the you get in a different category. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> yeah, you, you keep hearing like, oh yeah, man, I just pop a couple of soul off and I'm good. Like, what the fuck is that? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even look for it or, or nah. But I have been offered Vicodin. No, I'm like, nah, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll take an ibuprofen. You know, I'll take a pinche de sanfriol or. Or pinche, what else? Some pinche Tylenol. I mean, people abuse. I, you, you get really sick on ibuprofen too. Where if you take it daily, there's people. Oh yeah, fucks like, you up. It's bad for your liver and shit. I mean, it's not. Even though I get your argument, that stuff's still not good for you. Mm -hmm. eh? I mean, I, either way, like it's a less evil, but you could still abuse ibuprofen and it'll really fuck you up, bro. And and the crazy thing is that. There, I've I've seen some stuff where they say that 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 causes inflammation. So like you're <coughs> you're taking something to reduce inflammation, but like you're in this vicious fucking. You loop. took so much that now it's causing. Inflammation. Yeah, it's like a vicious loop. 
And like fucking, you gotta get out of that shit. So right. then you gotta go get a paletita. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go get a Chinese I paleta. I, I don't know if I heard that. I mean, if you eat tomato, that also causes inflammation. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There, there was a what's that one dude that got in trouble for? Um, ah, fuck, what's Pinchy Weta that goes around? Little journalist guy, I can't remember, but he has a little thing on on San Francisco where he's interviewing like the homeless and shit mm-hmm. in San Francisco. But he got in trouble for some fucking, I don't think for raping girls, but like for taking Jesus advantage Christ, of some wait, shit. I didn't, I didn't think this was going to go. <laughs> no, there. but he, he had, he had a, like All an right. HBO special or something. No, because right. he got canceled, pues. Yeah. But the, I guess he didn't get canceled oh, hard, le, that le, hard. Cause, les daba pastillas por un pinche mamón o qué? No, no, no. Like he, they get drunk type of shit and he yeah. take advantage. Not not he would get them drunk, but like they'd be at a bar hanging out, pues, and then. Se las llevaba a su casa ya todas pedas y, mm. you know, fucking, he take advantage. Pero he, he got canceled and... But I guess not hard enough because that video fucking by even by the time I saw it I had like fucking five million views or something, right? But the fucking uh, fuck the team I am extraíste this way, I'm fucking. Yo qué güey. But he was interviewing the, the fucking homeless and they were talking about like the fentanyl and the, the, there's a loop también pues like there's one dude he's talking to that that seemed like oh you go oh fuck this dude on the pinchy high as a kite way. Oh shit. But then like he starts somehow you know fucking tipo like you, you're talking to someone they start telling you their life story. He starts getting into his fucking life story shit, and he's he literally stuck like, like in a cycle. He said he got hurt, he got hurt like as a as a teen way, and they gave him the good shit for the fucking the Lord. So then he fucking he got hooked on that, and then he fucking finally got clean, got a hale, fucking was doing all right. Then he got hurt at work in his shit, early twenties, and they fucking gave him the good shit again, and he got hooked again. So he fucking he's, he's back on the streets. Fuck. And he, he's hooked on fucking fentanyl way. Fuck. So he's selling like this, literally try. He, he's walking around with the yelera way. So they like steal shit from the liquor store, or whatever. And he goes around fucking selling like cokes or fucking oh. cheves or whatever he has in the little yelera way. And it's all shit he's stolen. Yeah, they steal from the like the fucking liquor store or whatever way. Fuck, bro. But I'm saying, the, but he, he you 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 go off. Like he starts telling a story and you you fucking go oh shit way this is the postagacho he, he literally is stuck in a cycle way he, get, he, he yeah. got injured got yeah. got hooked lived on the streets put his life together got injured at work they gave him fucking good shit again like fucking I guess not knowing que, que pinche vato's already an addict yeah and fucking then he got hooked again fucking fentanyl way so now he's back on the street way fuck. Can't I guess catch the, a break. I guess but I'm saying you get in a cycle. Like you, Dick, he was working the job. He's like, I was already fucking yeah. had a jale and todo and got injured. Way. Fuck, bro. If you're going to get pills, I guess just specify to tell him not to be uh, non-narcotic, no? But it's because when you're in the hospital, they give you the, the drip one too. Way. Yeah. Oh. And then, and then you start you start getting pills in the black market on the streetway, and you don't know what the fuck you're taking away. I mean, that that's when it oh, gets shit. really catch, sketchy. Or you think you're taking a fucking, even if it's like an Adderall or a, or a Vicodin or, or one of these these pain medica- medication from the street, and like, because people, I mean, you know this way, right? People sell their prescription all the time, oh, or, yeah. or their moms or their grandmas that start slanging, hey, fucking ten bucks a pill. But like you don't know what you're buying, where like it's just it's just really sketchy, where. Um, I was reading a uh, I don't know where, I saw a story where um, this lady was saying that you know she, her and her husband met when in the early twenties and they used to party hard, you know they do coke, they do weed, that's in Tulsa's madre, and then they got married, they got clean, they had kids, and they had stopped, and then um. Fucking about maybe three weeks ago or something, fucking she gets the news that her husband died because he was doing coke <coughs> laced Jeez. with fentanyl. Holy shit, man. And she's all like, fuck, I, didn't, I had no idea he was doing this. That's crazy. You know, and it's one of those where like fucking now she's a widow with fucking kids. Get a ching out, and it's like, and it's part of it, she was feeling guilty because she's all like, you know, we used to party, we used to do this, you know, so is it like, I feel guilty about him. Like, eh, you know, nah, it's, it's, people are people are people. Eh? Yeah, they're gonna do whatever the fuck. Yeah, see, pasa because like even like the it reminds me of the story of uh, and with so with the bass player from um uh what's this band the Who, the whole fucking time the Who was coming up straight edge fucking dude and didn't do shit but in his late fifties sixties he started doing coke and that's what killed him. Eh? <laughs> she started but, late, but like his whole life we were like playing with the Who like they don't touch drugs from what I read. 
and then just later in life, I don't know. I don't know if it was just an accident or just something. Because you would think that in your 50s, 60s, you would have more willpower, right? You would think. Like if you were at a party and somebody said, hey, I'm on you. I mean, if you're 60 and somebody's like, hey, you want some Coke? Shit, even now. Like, hey, you want to? Uh, I'm good. No but imagine a 60-year-old being like, uh, you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Set me up some rails, bro. <laughs> Let me try that there's shit. A, there's a lot of people, too, that didn't experiment young way. That For you sure. get to an older age. I was like, the people get tattoos all Or they get married young too. and then they fucking and fuck like, everybody when they're in their 40s. <laughs> yeah, like when they... So, I mean, that, that happens, no? Like you get to a certain age, you go, I, I live life. I didn't try fucking Coke. <laughs> it looked like true. a good time. That's true, man. But I, I still think it's kind of crazy to like yeah. a sixty-year-old be like, "Hey, you know what? Yeah, let me <laughs> just rolling up the sleeves." You know, yeah. This is, this is a, a Landis Morris said, isn't it ironic? <laughs> this is ironic <laughs> verse on it. <laughs> <laughs> you played for the who? <laughs> Straight edge of the time. Oh shit! Here At age sixty. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> he <laughs> sets up some lines. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, this is fucking flowing right now, bro. <laughs> and isn't it ironic? <laughs> Don't you think? Oh, <laughs> shit. A little too ironic. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, yeah, I really do think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ray. Oh shit, Ray. we're really going for it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, oh. but it, it's it's just pendejadas where like all your fucking life you played it safe, or you know you're like ah, I'm not interested, and then all of a sudden. The pega la pinche look at it. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, estoy todo para los finales, güey. Fuck it. You know, I got, a, you know, I got money. I'm set. Well, uh, fuck it. Una pinche lena, sabe? Set it up and punk. It's que for sure people in their 60s are more vulnerable, I think, especially if they feel lonely way. Like, I just saw this thing on some guy that got scammed for some uh, Bitcoin mining bullshit. He met some girl online, younger girl. And Sold. This guy was in his like <laughs> 70s and uh, he's, he, his wife passed away recently. So he was really lonely. And this woman started maybe in her 30s, I think, it started talking to him. And, you know, it's just like a spark. And he fucking, he, what it seemed like is she was living a lavish life that he was like, hey, what do you do? Oh, I invest in fucking this and that. Fucking wiped him out of his whole fucking savings way. Oh, shit. And like you're in your 70s way. Like that's, that's, that's a sad one way to recover. Yeah, because you worked all this time. Yeah, you're, you're like, ya trabajé, ya, ya puse mis hijos to whatever. Fucking, I got my little feria. Time to enjoy. That's why you can't trust the spark. <laughs> 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 But I mean, the we we talked that you guys were making fun like who the fuck steals crutches from an old or a fucking disabled person? <laughs> like who the fuck steals from an older person? Do you like? Yeah. I mean, well, the, the easy marks, man. But like, dude, these people work their whole lives for this little this little stash that they have. To, we don't have morals, way it doesn't give a fuck. That's that's a tough one, way. And these people are obviously crushed, way. Because now, what do you do, way? You're fucking retired already. To, yeah, to recover and it's, it's not happening. Way. That sucks, way. You just gotta be careful, man. That 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 cabrón, man. But like you said, when you get that age, the man, you get lonely, way yesterday. It reminds it's me of that. Cabrón, that. Remember, um, what was it, Little Miss Sunshine, El Abuelo? Mm, yeah. So he's not like fucking do all kinds of drugs. He's doing heroin, coke, yeah, and everything. Kundaling. Fuck as much as you can. <laughs> 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 just live it up. You're young only once. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I mean, like the. Like when the parents are too strict, you have this way fucking, yeah, and you're, you're they're in their house, and then fucking you meet these guys or fucking girls in the like college years when they're fucking they go fucking not well, not insane way, but they fucking they do all kinds of crazy. Oh, for sure. They're not todos pinche a todo way. La cama and the fucking. It's the first time they have a little freedom. Yeah, yeah way. So you gotta give them. <laughs> so, so you got that way. I think you gotta give kids to a little fucking un poquito de cuerda, no? Yeah. I mean, you're a parent, way. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, way. That's a tough one, way. Because how much square that way? How how, what, how do you know what's? In well, that, that that's where it gets tricky. But I'm saying, if you don't give them any, you're gonna you're gonna fuck yourself on the back end, anyways. Yeah, that's true, way. <laughs> so so you might as well give them a little bit and hope it's not too much. Yeah. Then then fucking the other one that's gonna be all the fucking square that way because there's there's not it's not gonna exist. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's true. It's gonna be the fucking off the leash. Yeah, it's crazy way. That's that's a whole other fucking topic. We're raising kids. Where it's, uh, I, leave raising that, I, I leave that to the professionals. With with fentanyl paletas. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Shit. A dog visit. And fucking. ¿Dónde agarras estas paletitas? Están bien buenas. Están buenísimas. Cabrón, la próxima está toda la jarra. 
I mean, you think you think. Uh, now that I think about it, where you know people say like the, the, the kids get put on medication really quick nowadays. Do you think that it's? I don't remember my mom taking me to the hospital a lot of the times. Wait, like nope. So I don't. So you think that it, that was why we weren't like heavily medicated, or you just think that as a whole, the whole industry is is more prone to like medicate children if, if they're Medicaid hyper. in general, no? Like yeah. I would say in general, for sure, yeah. Would, it, it, they, they if our parents, if we were children now, and our parents are, you know, in this time, I think one of us three would have been fucking diagnosed with a. ADHD or fucking autism or something. I, I was, I was, di if I was too hyper, I was diagnosed with a chunk that way. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that, that, that yeah. took care of everything. I was prescribed or, or, <laughs> those chunk glasses. Or from the fucking sideburns. My mom loved oh, getting me from hurt. the sideburns. Those hurt, bro. That, that's, that's more effective than any fucking ADHD <laughs> medication. <laughs> that was, that was right there. Nomás sentí esa pinche jalona. Hasta el cuerito me tronaba, güey. No, no, no. And then, oh, and then it was more embarrassing when they would do it in front let's say there was a little girl that you were into yeah. Yeah. and you were trying to You're fucking like, muster up the courage ah, ah, and here your mom pulls your ear in front of her or her, your sideburn in front of her you're like oh man and then all of that you're not gonna cry but you have a little tear rolling yeah, down. No, you don't want to show weakness bro that's what I was born with that's that's more effective than any fucking yeah. pill that's peddled oh, nowadays. Yeah, right? dude. <laughs> but I mean, in general, I mean, we talked about it before. Everything is is a pastilla now, way. Yeah. You go to the doctor, way. You fucking ya estamos a, the edad, way that I know at least two people pues go to the doctor for mm -hmm. que que se le está subiendo la presión en chero. La presión está muy alta. And right away, instead of fucking mm -hmm. instead of the first suggestion being dieting, yeah, it's ah, so okay. I think I want to put you on some on some fucking medication for this. Yeah. And then you can diet them in. Yeah. So like the option, the first option is not dieting. It's like they don't trust people with yeah. to fucking diet correctly. Hey, maybe it's, maybe, maybe the doctor's already jaded. I'm like, este cabrón. Yeah, but I'm saying yeah, that no tam, también, <laughs> también the, 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 the picture where one's not going to nah, fucking not change gonna it. Do it. I, I think I think that's part of it, but the other part is that they fucking so, <laughs> they get lobbied hard by the drug companies, pues, if to he, fucking that's true. He to just peddle got their back goods from the a fucking Shakey's lunch and bunch buffet. <laughs> he want, you know, he's gonna fucking stop that. I mean, the reality of things too, though, bro, is a lot of doctors aren't healthy themselves. Way right? they're also part of that system where like it's a pill. Like they they're not they're not really uh, schooled on nutrition or things like that. They they rare they briefly touch on it when they go to medical school. So I feel like a lot of doctors are also not healthy themselves and they just don't have the tools really to to really tell somebody like this is what you should do so then a pill is the easy thing like you said it helps them it's if this is their own clinic too if it's like a small place it's gonna help them to fucking bill more fucking money for the insurance way so it's just a there's a there's, there's a mafia way there's a lack of care <laughs> in healthcare way that's for sure pura pinche mafia yeah so yeah, I'm saying I mean the, the, everything's a, a pastilla now, so I mean that, that I think that applies to kids too. But it's it's the it's the culture and the environment that we want. Where we always want an easy solution. Where yeah, like yeah. we always want that. Hey, like, give me the hack. Where I don't want. Uh, give me that. That. Give me the cliff notes. Yeah, just get to the point so I can <laughs> do it. So, like we we're we're as a society. This is how we process everything. We want we want the pill way. If if I use that example for everything, like the quick fucking fix, like and a lot of people don't want to struggle for anything anymore. Yeah, was it like that that uh, that pinchy shot that we we're talking about? The pinchy weight loss one, the the diabetic one, no? The what's it called? Oh, the uh, no, Ozempic. We're, we're talking about it after one of the episodes, no? Yeah. Yeah, we, we got into a little weight loss discussion. Yeah, the pinchy like that one, same shit. That's that's the hack everybody's been waiting for. No, that's why it's fucking yeah. flying off the shelves. Where you fucking you can never find that. Shit. I heard it's expensive, no? Oh, it, I'm sure it's it pretty is, pricey, right? Wayne. It's it, I mean it. It depends how you look it, at it. It's not just one shot. Uh, a lo que tengo entendido. It's a la semana. Take, yeah. So, I mean, you're, you're, I it's mean, another one where que, que they maybe they could add that ingredient that lasts a little longer, but no, you need one every month, every week. Every week? <laughs> <laughs> I mean okay. to be to be fair with that Ozempic. I mean I, I feel like a lot of medication starts off like that where it's for something else and then I mean look at Viagra and shit it's like that. It's a side that. effect. Yeah. yeah, and then you're like, "Wait, we can make more <coughs> much more money on this this yeah, yeah, yeah. marketing this way." So I don't know if they'll change that. I'm not sure, but but yeah, people want that uh, quick pill. Ahorita que mencionaste so was Viagra originally meant for high blood pressure or was it for hair growth? 
Yeah, I'm not. No, that, I don't. I don't know the. Ex- I don't know the exact details, but I. I feel like I want to say the high blood pressure one. Okay. But I'm not. I don't quote me on that way. No. But I, I know it was for something serious. Uh, yeah, I know it wasn't for fucking party time. Pues right? el otro de, de, de one too was it's for I think diabetes. No? Yeah, it is di- di- diabetes. It's like, so that that's what it's for. But the side effect is okay. you lose weight. Well, yeah. I mean, there's people that like diabetics take this medication called metformin, and like the biohackers that are into like optimal fucking whatever the fuck they want to live for 300 years it's funny way because like on the internet the, the 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 people that are experts in longevity are in like their 40s way and you're like wait like <laughs> you're really a longevity expert you're like 50 right no mom is but they take metformin supposedly it's like a, a fountain of youth way and this is a diabetic medication that my dad used to take and so these people are somehow, you know, they have the tranza with, with certain doctors and they're prescribing metformin. So these people take that to supposedly reverse aging. And, and so you get into like these crazy fucking... But they don't need it though, right? They just take it because they don't need it. They, so they don't need it because one of the, I guess one of the benefits of metformin is that somehow it rejuvenates like cells or some shit. I don't know, but... It, it supposedly is the fountain of youth. So these people take it just to be youthful and reverse time. Because n- now you hear people talk about like your biological clock. Like I'm, I'm, I'm fucking 41. But but there's also like like the, the, the way that your body is functioning, you can reverse that. So maybe you're 41, but on, on, on like the blood tests and shit like that, you're 31. Like So that's how you're reversing like mm-hmm. the aging process. So what a steps is trying to say, bro, if you need those pastillas, he's slanging them for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Outside one, the van. One, one bill of pastilla. <laughs> you know, but he, you know, he's not doing it for free. On yeah, Sundays. Right. I don't know. A lot of people don't want to live that long way. Uh, well, they're that really honest with them. Billionaire, which, one, which one's the billionaire now that, that's fucking... He's been doing that shit too, trying to extend his life. He's fucking... He has a whole regimen. He has doctors that fucking administer no sé qué pedo every day. And I mean, yeah. He's got a like, very special diet and... Prob- I mean, I don't know the name off of it, but yeah, I'm sure we're, I'm sure there's a lot of those guys out there. But it's it's reality. Some people... A lot of people don't want to live a long time way. They're like, dude, I just want to enjoy my life. Just fucking make it bearable. Like, I don't need all this shit. So I don't even think a lot of people want to live fucking 100, 120 years. Do you guys What, what would be a good, like, let's just say, theoretically, if you could choose the age, what age would you choose? Shit, I don't want to jinx it and fucking... Oh, yeah, no, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we said a lot of shit here and it's come true. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe not. Maybe let's just skip this I one. mean, I don't. I wouldn't mind living a long life. Uh, long can mean anything. As long as, like, I'm healthy and the... the as far as, like, the, the, the day-to-day, like, I feel great and I can think and, like... Because that cabron way to be a, in certain situations that that make life a little bit more difficult. And obviously, we don't have... Like we can't say what we want to do. Yeah, we do. don't have a say on that. But if I could live healthy and like really fucking be active, I would. I wouldn't mind living a long time way. I'm not those kind of people that are like, eh, I don't want to. I don't care. Whatever. I wouldn't mind living a long time way. But then I, I get. I, I. I'm sure. Like after a while, it's just like I really did everything. So I'm sure your mind. The way you think about life changes the older you get. Where, when then you start thinking like that's not the right question, you know. Like it's more important to just enjoy the the moments that you have with people that that you love. When I don't know, if, if we listen to to the Ramon fucking Bible of TV and movies, where you eventually you become evil. Way around two hundred years or so, no, you become evil. Way is that what happens? You become bitter. Te va la pinche la vida de otros. Yeah, you become bitter, bro. Like, I'm like, like, fuck in the all my friends, all my family are gone. I don't okay. give a fuck. Okay, me hago amigos. Okay, you know, like, they're going to die. So you become still, jaded? Yeah, you become jaded. That's this evil villain, bro. So I, I feel like if we live forever, we would be shitty people, right? Because I feel That's like... That's what I'm saying. At some point, you turn shitty. Because it'll be like, um, hey, Ramon, uh, are you not a mom? Maybe I'll use an example of another <laughs> friend. I don't want to... Yeah. But it's like, hey, bro, uh, how's your mom? I don't know. I haven't talked to her in 600 years. Like you get a lot of that kind of shit. Like, like you don't care because 
longevity is there and like you, you're not there to appreciate like you probably wouldn't like appreciate a nice instrument or Maybe appreciate appreciate a lot of things a yeah. lot of things because like it's just like well i'm never going anywhere so i can always have this i i, I would argue 70 percent of people that live longer <laughs> in 200 years become evil <laughs> just saying I know it's kind of a random number, pero por ahí, no? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so fucking. Ya yeah, viene la, la Navidad, bro. I know, we. It came in quick. I know. It's starting to get a little chilly out here. <sighs> Dude, I had a gig last night. I mean, I've been playing gigs since I was 17, way, and it's. I mean, maybe my memory is not serving me well, but it was the coldest fucking. We played outside in like a little hill. It was the coldest fucking gig I've ever played when, dude, my hands were fucking struggling. I even took my fucking little hand warmer, little electronic things that are little pots yeah. that I bought. And I fucked up because I started turning them on since I got there. So by the time I played like around 10, <laughs> the gone. battery was fucking done way like an idiot. <laughs> oh, but it is getting cold way. And, and I know as Californians, we sound pretty fucking funny complaining about 50 degree weather at night way, but fuck that. it's still cold it's as fuck. Fucking cold. It's still cold. I don't give a fuck. It's cold. Me duelen mis huesos. Fucking pinche chilinski se me escondió. No lo encuentro. No, I, I got an NDA. Fuck him. This motherfucker, yeah. he's cold. <laughs> Let me check the thermometer. Yeah, it's fucking gone, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, I know, what was I hearing? Like in Utah, it's like fucking cold as fuck. I bet. Yeah, well, it has got a lot of Mormons, so oh. it adds up. <laughs> There's no love in Utah. <laughs> Jesus. They're cold hearted. You can't celebrate shit, bro. So <laughs> <laughs> you become evil. It's a cold state. <laughs> 70% of the state is fucking Mormon. Andale pa que veas, güey. Random fact. Do you think if you live forever, you would go through all the religions, maybe? Probably, where you would find something. I've been Mormon no? for 200 years. Eh, that didn't work out. Eh, I don't know si duro 200. Uh, no mames. Fucking Seven wives, I mean, yeah, como que choles, ya, ya me enfadaron. Ya me enfadaron las siete. Yeah. It's not, it's not what it seems like, guys. I, I think uh, at some point you're repeating, no? Pues a ver, let's give uh, Cristo otro, otro, otro ride, a ver. Que probably, puede. you come back to fucking, yeah, you probably, yeah. Mm, let's vamos. see what happens, güey. Let's see, <laughs> ¿qué novedades hay? Vamos con el gordito simpático, a ver, vamos a ver qué dice él. Vamos a ver acá con este. Yeah, you, at some point you're like, ah, been there, done that. I guess Ramon was right, bro. I've met 70% Lupes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I've proven this stat over yeah, 300 years. You're 375 <laughs> years old. Yeah, you know what? I guess he's right. Yeah, Fuck, he bro. I wish he was still alive so I could tell me he was right. Maybe. Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> Everybody's alive. I mean, imagine, like, the shit this guy says. It, it takes about 400 years to realize that he's always been right. Ramon was his own Nostradamus. Yeah. On the Nostradamus. It takes about 400 years. Paisa just, Damas over here was right. <laughs> <laughs> just give it 400 years. It don't make sense. <laughs> I knew what I was talking about. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I mean, any 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 plans for Christmas this time? Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> we're gonna celebrate early with my with my sisters and my mom because my sisters coming from uh, South Carolina. We're gonna celebrate uh, uh, the seventeenth. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna be able to come and record. Oh, okay. And um, you know, just you know, it's with my girlfriend. We just fucking we said we weren't gonna give each other gifts, but then we kind of fucking we were talking about it, and then we kind of smirked, and I'm like, dude. Are you not going to give me something? Like, because <laughs> fucking, I don't want to be the dick that doesn't buy anything. And then fucking you show up with something. And then we ended up fucking saying, all right, just one though. Because we, we're like multiples. Like, fucking, she gives me like two or three things. And I'm like, dude, don't spend your money on shit. I feel like people don't believe you when you tell them that. Like, I don't need anything. Like, I feel like people don't believe you. Right? Like, they think that, nah, you do need things. Well, and the, I'm going to buy you it's something. It's about them, no? Like, the, it is. It's not a fucking. But like, I don't want her to spend her money on me where, right? like, I don't need anything, way, but uh, I'm just gonna go with it. Way. People like to buy other people things, way. No, for sure, way. But I get the the one no, better, no. Ustedes, what are you guys gonna do? Uh, celebrate Christmas, way, open presents, and mm -hmm. um, another. Normally, uh, Noche Buena, I spend it with my my parents, my family. Mm. We spend it with them. What day is Noche Buena? It's the 24th. Oh, the, the actual 24th. Yeah, the actual 24th is Noche Buena. And then Christmas Day, we spend it with the Mijas family. Mm. And over there, we do uh, White Elephant. Mm. 
So it's like everybody takes, you know, they predetermine the, the, the range. So let's just say a uh, present $100 within $100. Try not to go like over. Not to I go know. Over. I was going to say, fuck, Shit, that's a nice bro. family way. No way, fuck. I'm, the ones I've heard are like 15, 20 bucks. I know. No mama's way. Hey, yeah. you guys got room for one more way? I know. Can, can I show up? <laughs> well, you got to bring a $100 gift, though. <laughs> bro. I got coupons, bro. <laughs> I got some Taco Unico fucking coupons. Oh, fuck yeah. $100, $100 worth. <laughs> well, what if you buy it at Marshall's? The, what, what price is the one that counts? The one on the ticket or the one they put over it? <laughs> yeah, right. Just like <laughs> <Hey>. it. <laughs> Take, uh, Take off. The, the 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 what is it the red one the, off? the one that says valued at or <laughs> <laughs> MSRP <laughs> and then um and then that's pretty much it it's yeah. pretty nice we see about that's cool yeah. yeah yeah you were telling me about those hand warmers but they got it more expensive I don't remember paying that much for them oh I know I um I saw that there was one for twenty two twenty 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 two bucks mm. but no más uno mm. But if you want the set to sell it like at 54, 55. Oh, that's probably what it was. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not like, oh, okay, makes sense. It, it adds up. Y para New Year's, are you guys doing anything? Or uh, normally we just spend it at the house, nosotros. Yeah. And we do a little a little bonfire, a little comidita. Ustedes, Fernie, what are you guys going to do? Just chill at the house? Same shit. We would just go to my mom's house and then Basta Christmas crudo, Day. Basta crudo crudo todavía de su birthday party, way. Oh, oh shit. Crudo. My birthday is after, way. No, no, no. Oh, he was asking about Christmas or New Year's? New Year's. Oh, New Year's. Oh, pinche. No, no, yeah. Just go fucking usually go to my mom's house, way. I don't like going that way. It's too, too many people, too expensive. Yeah, that's where all the, the amateurs are out. Too risky. The, the times I've been out in my juventud, yeah, I was like, mm, I was all right. No, no se me hizo worth the. The effort way. Yeah, you know what? I never was a big fan of New Year's like that way. To fucking go and spend money or fucking... I'm coming past so way because then I feel like a few times I woke up January 1st and I felt like shit. And I was like, wait, is that really how I want to start the year? Yeah. Uh, todo crudo? Yeah, like feeling well, like Well, I mean, shit. not even the, the crudo part, but I mean, I've, I've done the, the New Year's in Vegas. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then the New Year's like concert shit, the clubs, shit like that. We at thought, the bar, we did at the 107 the, the, All those and mm, I'm always like... Mm. I could have done this on a Thursday, regular Thursday. It would have been the same. So maybe if we live forever, we wouldn't even have calendars because we're like, eh, it's just another day. Wait. I'm not celebrating shit. <laughs> Today's December 12th. Eh. Oh, uh, girl. And? <laughs> and was Today's way. Noche Buena. <laughs> All right. Every night is a good night. <laughs> if you say right. so. If you say so, carnal. Every night is a good night, eh? Imagine those norm conversations in the morning if you live forever. Wait. Fucking 600-year-old man fucking getting coffee. What would be the conversation? Like? I guess you're right, Ramon. Seventy <laughs> percent, bro. Today I learned you were right. My bad. And then I'll be lucky, and I'm like, hold on, the math. All right, yeah, four hundred and twenty-two years it took you. All right, I'll take hey, it. You, you were a little slow now. We were at six hundred, but I'll, I'll give it to you. Now, <laughs> pinchil. Eso del con el Christmas, though, way I fucking noticed too. Why well, I've been noticing, but this year I've been maybe because. Uh, there's more little like, reels and all that shit, way. But pinchy parents just passing con a pinchy elf, way. I was fucking like, what the fuck? The little fucking Christmas elf? Do elf the on pinchy? the shelf? Yeah, I do. I do at the pad too, pero pinchy parents making fucking making now about themselves, way, or the I video. What, yeah, what is like, that? I, mean, you, I, I mean, you haven't seen the little videos of the elf where the fucking kids crying because. Because the, the prank went too hard or whatever way, or the, no. the, the usually, mischief went too... Normally what I know is I see the elf in the shelf, and it, or se está throwing la Barbie, or That's she's what I'm got somebody tied up yeah, in the fire. Are those for the kids, or are those for the parents? What, but is what, is, the what is it, what? They, they just... Uh, I don't, that, I've never seen those, way. So the the there's that, the little elf, pues, and then the every night he moves. It started, pues, cause like you move him. No, he goes, he hides in different places. And he's supposedly he's the one so that's reporting pechito. to Santa. He's mm -hmm. reporting to Santa, pues. So fucking llega, some, whatever day, they, the December 1st, whatever, I guess, whatever, I think is what most people go with. And then, like, you just move around every night. He just moves around the houseway, and he's supposedly watching your fucking kids. And the kids aren't supposed to touch him porque se le va la magia, you know? Oh, but and they, then they fucking, can see him. Like, oh, yeah, you there. can see okay. him. And it literally says, they're pinche, they're the, like the juguete. So it's almost like like a Toy Story mama. Like, at night he moves. When you're not watching him, he moves around and shit. <laughs> so, pero fucking it escalated from fucking people got pretty elaborate with their with their placements. Like, you'll be fucking doing different shit. Está jugando. Like, you, the kids will come down and está jugando con los, having a tea party with the Barbies or whatever. Like, the other oh, yeah, toys. No. Or, or con, con los dinosaurs del kid. Or he's feeding the dinosaurs. Like, shit like that. You go, oh, okay, that's pretty cool, way. 
But fucking, yeah, escalating out to it's fucking, lo ponen, like, fucking with the fucking Marlboro and una camita with a Barbie type of shit. <laughs> lo ponen fucking. Fucking with whiskey and fucking. He, he's, he's, and he's taking a shit, like, in a fucking glass type of shit. Yeah. Like, they put, what? like, Hershey Kisses, like, in the <laughs> glass. And then he's, like, sitting in there type of shit. You go, so that was, like, last year's and the last few years. And now, fucking, the pranks are going too hard. Like, I'm saying, last year, I think, is the first time I saw one where the. A veces también empezó the, which I did to, to my kids because that one was funny, pero the, que les dibuja fucking in the face when they're sleeping type of shit, like when you get drunk. <laughs> but then it, that escalated to fucking people were fucking like cutting chunks out of the, like the kids fucking pajamas. What? And then they fucking, unos would put it like little blankets like that he, or you find them with a bunch of pieces of your fucking clothes, Holy I guess. Shit. You're like, what the fuck? And then the kids would be like, ah, oh, like, what the fuck? Wait, like, shit, bro. So all of a sudden it's turning like, como que se le están jalando los pies. Like, they're yeah, always yeah. doing like crazy Jesus shit. Jesus Christ. And then I saw one kid. What was the other one? The the newer one I saw now that the, on the TV, they put like the, the, the elf broke the TV. So you put like, there's a, like a little YouTube one that will, that will play for hours where, and it looks like a, like the TV's broken. And then the opponents that laugh like the elf, like, oh my bad way, I broke your fucking TV. <laughs> oh, and the little fucking girl's like crying way, like, he fucking broke my TV. Lo va lo tira la basura and shit. Oh, dude. But like, like pranks like this, boys, okay, you go, it's about the video. Yeah. And the fucking parents and about being funny, then, then I just traumatize my fucking kid way. Yeah. For views, yeah, for fucking views, way. Yeah. But I mean, there, there, there was some other one I can't remember. I was like, no, mames, way. There's, but there's been a few of them. That's so, so much that I'm like, dick. The fuck are you doing it for now, way? Just for fucking the views, yeah. The fucking just, the kids are literally fucking crying, tamales, like real crying, and like not fucking pinchy show crying. Fernie, if you didn't have kids, would you find this funny, or would you have found the funny? Before I would have found kids? that funny, not the fucking. <clears throat> the, that's what I'm saying. The the, the the taking the shit ones, esos que les toma las fotos. Yeah. You go, okay, wait, like I said, doesn't mean they're doing it literally. There's some que si salen con los kids que mm -hmm. fucking, que you know, ah, those are inappropriate for kids, wait, pero it's still kind of funny. But the, if you eliminate the kid part, wait, like I'll put my thumb over the kid, I guess. But most of those used to be like pictures, whatever, like, oh, elf ideas and little dudes taking like a shit in a thing or whatever. And you go, okay, it's fun, funny, but who's really using that, no? Who's yeah. really putting that out for the, oh, look, to stop pompiendo the Barbie one, like, no one's. I, don't, I, I like to think fucking. You're not really putting that out for your kid, right? Yeah. That that's just for the la, la foto for the fucking gram, como we see anyway back yeah. in the day. But now way when they do the video and the kid literally se está traumando way fucking crying about fucking shit. You're like, okay, ahora, ahora sí, it's not not even. You escalated from from just for the photo to to doing it for, for a real way. Yeah, and that now you. I feel you crossed the line way. I don't find that funny way. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I mean, is it any different from what Jimmy used to, kid used to do with uh, parents and the kids? I had that, that <clears throat> but I wasn't there when he wasn't putting it online. That's 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 what I was gonna comment on the fact that people put their kids online so like, like open and so that's crazy to me with that that people are willing to like make their kid go viral on some shit like all traumatized. You'd be surprised how many maniacos are watching these videos. Where like my my girlfriend the other day showed me this video of this lady that. For some reason, she likes to put her kid like in the bathtub on TikTok, and it had literally tens of thousands of saves. Like saves, they, oh like shit. they saved these. Like, why would you fucking save a video of a kid in a bathtub if it wasn't for my brain went there? Like, I'm thinking like, why the fuck are you saving this video? And like, why why are you not seeing that this video is? You don't think that as as you're not a, connecting those dots. Yeah, you're yeah. not connecting that. There's ten thousand saves on on your your little girl. <laughs> In the bathtub, like you're not connecting that. What are these people you saving this video for? Like, I in my brain, I don't see any purpose of saving that video. Eso está más cabrón. But like from what Ramon saying, he's talking about fucking un compa que that fucking he he tells a story. Pues, but that's what I'm saying. This one is from a story. Pues, it's not like no one was there to confirm this vato did this or not. No, like yeah. it could be like oh fucking he thought it was funny in his head in the, in the moment even he maybe thought about it. But did he really do it? We could never know it, but the story's funny. But it had a pinche que he se, 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 it was like he had like a one night stand with someone, and in the morning when he was leaving, the fucking kid salió a agarrar cereal. was like, oh shit, he took him pez. And then he fucking bopped him on the head like with a finger and was like, boned your mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's what he was referring to. Yeah. But that's your compa telling you, pues, as opposed to you seeing a video 
of someone doing it way. Like so, if I see selling a TikTok fucking the compa doing that, that that's then you're like, views. oh yeah. yeah, go now it's kind of fucking como and cringe, no. But when he's telling you, it's funny because it, you you don't know if it happened. With that, the, that rubs me the same way as fucking people doing things that are like like um, giving somebody money or doing something and having to film it. Like to me, that takes away from it. I don't care if you're doing a good deed way. The fact that you have to film it, you're doing it for yourself. Like mm. you don't have to film this. Like why why do you have to film? I had that conversation with somebody, and and they gave the other the other side. So. I had that same because I'm like, why are they filming it? And they said, well, the reason how these people are able to get the money to give to people is that they show what they do with the money, and that's how they get that's how they get people to to send money or to fund this 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 um, benevolent deed. No, for sure. But those are the the actual YouTubers that are that are like Mr. Beast, and there's this there's this Latino dude that. That does that, the man. Yeah. This this güerito. That's that's. I'm not talking about those people. I'm oh, talking okay. about somebody like us. That's fucking aren't getting any fucking anything from anybody. You're just doing it so people in your comment ah. section can be like, oh, fucking Fernando, he's such a nice guy. Or, oh, look at him. He's, and, and then you're getting that fucking endorphin hit and you feel good about yourself. Like, why do you have to film that? Like, you, you're, you're literally doing it for the wrong reasons. Even if it's a good deed, I, I still find it a little cringy where that people <laughs> film themselves doing things, where Like, <laughs> nobody... Like, the other day, where like, there was this thing that that I, I was at a red light and I saw fucking this, this woman outside of Jersey Mike's. She was homeless. She was just fucking on the side of the building. She had all her stuff there. I mean, she's obviously struggling way. And I saw a uh, fucking an undercover cop fucking uh, come out of his, of his fucking of, of Jersey Mike's. And he had like the, the fucking uh, the whole way, the jeans with the everything. With and the I, holster and the strap. And I saw the fucking the, the, the Ford white fucking SUV. And this dude passed by her and just fucking dropped a bag of, it was, looked like chips, soda, and a sandwich. And he didn't say anything. Like, he just dropped it and fucking just went on his way. And I was thinking, like, you know, that's that's the kind of shit that I'm saying. Like, this dude does not need for anybody to see him. This good deed, maybe even the <coughs> homeless person didn't even really acknowledge it because I didn't see her say, like, thank you. But this person does not need to put this on social media so people can tell him that he's a good guy. He literally is between him and whoever's watching and the person. And that's it. Like, to me, that's more respectable than... <laughs> Watch it be the drop. <laughs> no, you didn't know it was a drug drop. <laughs> I know, drug drop. That's the way I um, <laughs> thought it was a sandwich. Acá Esteban's <laughs> like, fuck, that's what we need, bro. We need more of this. <laughs> we need more kindness. I mean, Random uh, ac uh, acts of kindness. <laughs> I mean, if you saw her wardrobe, I don't, I don't, hey, I don't know. You're getting, bro. You're getting nah. pretty sketchy out there, bro. <laughs> no, but I get you. Definitely not. Wait. I get you. That that and, and see, this is what people. This is the internet in itself, right here. Because if you <laughs> if you post it nobody's gonna believe it yeah. nah well, that's a fucking drop or fuck that there's still a cab or yeah. that's not the point where the point I'm saying is like take away the policeman he happened to be a police officer but if somebody in civilian clothes just did that I would see, see it as the same thing like that's that's what I'm talking about right there where nobody needs to see it where and I bet you if you were to, let's just say if that happened just so that we we understand it and we know how fucking people are out there. You see that? You see a good act. We see it. Oh, it's a good act. And we throw a little joke like, oh, yeah, fucking it's, a, it's La Finta doing a drop, right? <laughs> but then you'll have the extremists that are like, what, that piece of shit? Couldn't he give it to her in her hand? Oh, dude, I know. And drop it I on know, the fucking bro. floor like she's no, an animal? Nada? I know, I know. You know, and it's just like... And, and that's the entertaining part of the internet is a comment section because <laughs> somehow... This is going to turn into Biden and then fucking Palestine and all this shit. Like some, some, yeah, yeah. 70% of the time that I see this, I'm triggered. Yeah. You just threw it on the floor, bro. You just threw it on you the know, floor. You like, know, like she was a fucking animal. Well, let's be honest with you. I mean, people, no, uh, people that hate cops, no matter what good deed they do, yeah. it's still... And that's how we live. Right? If, if you're a, a Trump supporter, no matter what Biden or the, the Democrats do, it's still fucking... Shit show. Anything and, bad that happens, yeah. and the other way around too. Like no matter what, anything Republicans do, that's good. They'll argue that fuck that. That's uh, I mean, it's just this is where we're at. Right? Yeah. This is where we're at. It's just like you're telling me this. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. And then I'm like, 
Huh, well, wait a minute. Oh, that was Ramon. Yeah, you just Ramon. threw it on the floor? <laughs> no, what the <laughs> fuck? ¿Qué es perra? <laughs> ¿Qué es animal? Not even, ni a los animales se tratan así. Yes. I mean, we, we do see... pigeon or what? <laughs> we do see things differently, though, right? We, yeah, I mean, all three definitely. of us can watch the same movie and we'll take different things out of it and it's literally a different movie. Like, we watch the same movie, but we took... Based on our experiences and based on the lenses that we see the world, that's what we're going to take out of that. So, yeah, I, I understand that people are going to see it different. For right now, when you were talking about, like, you know, um, people doing it for likes and all this, you reminded me of the of the show that Fernie and I keep talking about, oh, Ojitos de Huevo, right? Yeah. This is Blind Guy. And his best friend is uh, on crutches, right? He's got a spinal issue. But... His best friend is telling El, el, el Ceguito, he's telling him, hey, why are you fucking around with this girl? She's just using you for likes. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, yeah, look, this is a picture with her and a little dog. 15 likes. This is a picture of her with you. 300 and something likes. <laughs> you know, she's using you for fucking likes. Ah, estás pendejo, güey, que la chingada. No seas güey, te está usando para los corazoncitos. <clears throat> and it adds up, bro. It adds up. Yeah. That sometimes, like you said, a lot of people do these videos or these forced acts to get the likes. But they got, oh, you know what? This individual is is you know caring, mm -hmm. or they're genuine or whatever, and all they're looking is waiting to see the more hearts, more hearts, more yeah. likes, more likes. Yeah, well, oh, fucking. A. I mean, some people would argue, and it's a valid argument that who cares where they're still doing something good, which is a fair point. But like, I don't know. Where. I don't know. Well, I mean, because I mean, even like they're just, like you're saying, even the ones that, that do do it for good, pues, I know que. I mean, you don't really know. I mean, at some point, I mean. You gotta understand that even those that are doing it for good are still getting that little, uh, that little uh, endorphin bump way from from the likes too way. I mean, I don't think anybody fucking gets those likes and is like, oh no way, like I don't care about those fucking million likes. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, of course. You're still getting a little bump way, even si lo estás haciendo out of a good heart. You're still it, there's still that little addiction way. Hmm. So I, I mean, mean, doing it for good heart, uh, to me, it means you don't have to post it. Like, this is between you, whoever's watching, and the person. Like, that's that's all that needs to know about this. Uh, and, and But, you know, like I'm saying, I need to give credit. Like, it's a valid point if somebody says, well, dude, maybe they put it on the internet, so that'll... Uh, Make somebody feel like they should do that too, and yeah. then maybe change the world, which is a valid point. Where I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to argue get, that. Get more money to keep it going, type of shit. That that's for these. Those are different fucking yeah. people. But what I'm saying is like, like the thing that Ramon was like, I'll I'll leave my cart in the fucking thing in the parking lot of the supermarket, and that way somebody sees me. I'm doing this with oh, a fucking fuck. take with it. a Steve Austin brace on. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to fucking take it, which is a valid. I mean, I can't argue with that. Way. It's a valid fucking. Yeah, but he's not filming it either. So. <laughs> he's yeah. not filming it either. That would be cringy if yeah. I see fucking my buddy over here. Hey, check it out, guys. Yeah, I'm, it out, I'm doing my part. I'm at Northgate, eh? With I'm at Northgate with a bum knee. Taking my cart to the little corral. Sonadas. It's not that hard, Raza. <laughs> you know? Hey, now we need it, that video, eh? You <laughs> can do it. No, I remember, I remember watching, ahorita que dices todo eso también, like how people go all of a sudden political, go this or go religious and everything. So there was a, I think there was like a... I noticed you put down fucking Jesus Christ too. Yeah, he's heavy, bro. <laughs> he's heavy. When did you give up on that host? <laughs> About 10 minutes ago. You didn't see, but he put it in the box back, right? <laughs> he put it back in the box. Uh, the he is, say, this no? is a little crib. <laughs> no, mom, is where you're carrying in a chicharron box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just noticed. I was like, wait, that's Chicharron a chicharron. 100. <laughs> chicharron. You're carrying chicharron. baby Jesus in a full of fucking chicharron as well. Keeping it old school, bro. <laughs> Instead of those fucking foam peanuts on keep chicharrones, it, I keep them safe. It, keeping it old school. They kept them con un pinche burrito en paja, güey. At least I got a cardboard box and, those, those, and those paper. <laughs> those pork rinds are fucking soft, güey. Por eso estaba tan grasoso, güey. I was wondering why you were so He's all bright. He's all shiny. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, shit. <laughs> So what you would call it? So oh, it was this, uh, this like, um, I would say like a Christian community or Christian posting, right? And they're doing the same thing, you know, like giving away food to the homeless and all this and all that. And they're like, just like Jesus did, we're doing this. 
y que la chingada, you know, this is what it's all about. And then people, I was looking at the comments, and then people are like, yeah, hey, man, this is what we got to do. And then one of them jumps in. Is that like, oh, so this is for for God and all this and all that. Well, doesn't the Bible say don't ever let the left hand know what the right hand is doing <laughs> type of deal? And then fuck, everybody started jumping on that, vato. <laughs> and then he would come back with another verse, pa callarlos. And then they would, like, they were, you could see them getting pissed off. Holy shit, man. You know, this is just, this is just a good deed. Like, yeah, why show you a good deed? Yeah type of deal there's no need to do this yeah but it's just like some people just love to fucking you know keep people honest yeah there's always that person where yeah and that's 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 the risk that you take putting your good deed on the internet way is that the algorithm is going to feed it to that person and so the, the funny thing of how humans are way is no matter how many likes you got oh fucking uh carla is such a nice person no and this and that and that one asshole fucking talk shit and it's gonna change her whole fucking yeah her whole perspective on it now she's gonna be <laughs> depressed and sad. sad and fucking so it just takes fucking away from trembling it. Little. <laughs> i was just trying to do something good because we gravitate towards the negative way for sure you know, like <laughs> <laughs> two comments are the best though. I comment see. section are the best bro. and then I've seen now that people put up like hey no negative comments no hate no this <laughs> no that I want fiesta <laughs> some, some people outright just fucking turn don't off. turn off the comments way so like you know this is gonna cause controversy and so they just turn it off so but Pesca, now you don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> everything true. causes controversy like we're saying that's what? true you can't pull shit with the, like you're saying without someone bringing in some other shit with no so no, nah, but no says I want fiesta. Leave the comment section open. <laughs> <laughs> some some would say that's the best part of it, right? Oh, that's uh, what yeah, we're saying I exactly. Argue, I would argue that the seventy percent of the time, that's what you want. Yeah. Any viral post, check the comments, William. No matter how cute the fucking dog or cat video on YouTube is. It'll end up uh, Biden, Palestine, <laughs> Ukraine. Some, <laughs> no matter. Somehow it all leads to the politics way. No Any matter, fucking video, all roads lead to politics way. <laughs> no matter how humanely you want to get rid of that spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to get shit for it. I got shit for it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the comment section, bro. Don't don't lock it up, bro. Don't lock it up, way. It's That's okay really if they call you a fucking pussy. Oh, that right. somebody basically that's what they call me for fucking trying to humanely dispose of this <laughs> fucking spider way. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, pinchy comments are the best. Yeah, you know, that's what I get for putting that on there way. You know? No, yeah, well, you gotta take the. I think you were doing a product review, no? I was if funciona. Yeah, I just thought it was cool. Like, yeah. look at this cool well, thing. Yeah. I it's not problem. like you're like I'm saving spiders' lives. Nah, fuck no. <laughs> I mean that's a stupid argument. We might just coming Hashtag from spiders that matter. F- coming from that <laughs> angle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> like look how look how I care about the environment. Look that at I'm, how humane I am. Look, at, I even care for our fellow eight-legged creatures. I'm not stepping on this thing. I'm putting it in the toilet and flushing it. So I'm a good person. Yeah, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, I'm showing them the aquatic life. <laughs> the aquatic life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a water park. Shit, that yeah, shit's crazy. That's por el tubo. <laughs> I, remember, I remember you telling us that, like, fucking people are talking shit. I'm like, what? Why? How? Oh, dude, That's anything. Anything, bro. Your comments are the best. Anything, way. <laughs> but, I mean, focus on the bad, but it's all right, we, They're funny. Imag- always- but imagine life without the internet at this point. It's just it'll be I don't even I'm just gotta think in my memories way right? I can't remember life without the internet way I mean I could remember it but I can't really remember it way like what it was like the day to day I guess the day to day was La Carrilla was with your friends and you were more excited to see somebody because yeah. you, you didn't know what was yeah. up with yeah. them. Yeah, you know, it, that that that's what life was you were excited to see your friends you couldn't wait to be with them or catch up with them or whatever, you know, and then you got your two extra days to relax and then you started all over again in the week. Yeah. You know, you had a break and then you spend it with family. Then you couldn't wait to go see your cousins or whatever. And that that's what life was. You didn't have something that was like, you know, controlling you that you're always fucking looking at it. You had to go outside. Yeah. I was you had to go to Blockbuster. I was just watching this show called um, Murder at the End of the World, right? Mm. And there's this line where this guy's telling this girl, he's all like, I saw a picture the other day of a movie theater and it's a packed house, but everybody in the movie theater is smoking and you can see the cloud of smoke, 
But that was normal to them. And now we look at this and I'm like, how can these fucking people be doing this? How could right? they be smoking? Yeah. And, and everybody in the theater, like, you can't even enjoy it, the coughing and everything. Uh, but that was normal life to them. I wonder what's going to be in another 50, 60 years when they see a picture of us all hunched over with our phone in our hand. Mm. You know, they're going to be like, what the fuck are these people doing? Yeah, but they'll have their own. What the fuck are yeah. these people doing? And so it's like <clears throat> uh, that smoking one. I mean, uh, dude, come on. Like smoking is not good for you. I mean, we've all I've smoked my, a lot. Most yeah. of my, my adult life. But like I'm, I'm not I'm not hating that. We 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 could go on a plane and not have to deal with cigarette smoke. I mean, oh no no no, it's yeah. just an unhealthy thing to do. We're like, yeah, it's a, don't fucking smoke on a movie theater. Yeah, that. But the whole point of that was that that was normal, and the people now in this time are looking at this and like, how the fuck, you know? I mean, it could be argued that that their phone addiction is just just as fucking bad for us. We know one is like more physically, one of them is more mental, but. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. You know, but I mean, supposedly physically, because um, I don't know what I was hearing, that people are starting to develop, like, uh, like problems in their back of their their shoulder and their neck yeah. because they're always hunched over looking at their phone like this. No, well, but I mean, the people are developing, like, a, uh, a, a divot or, like, a bump on your head from wearing headphones like we're doing right now. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it, man. I mean, even, like, the Bluetooth. Well, mine doesn't touch my, my cranium. But you're still, you have more pressure on there than you would normally. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Oh, no, yeah, because I'm, I don't let it touch my hair. No, but so you're yeah. a special case. Seventy percent of people don't I let know. it touch their hair. I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's just shit like that. You know what I mean? I was hearing a story because um, there's this guy trying to trying to cut down the 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 what is it? The pedestrian death by making a, by making the lanes. Um, more narrow like instead of having two or three lanes on the street to make it to one because what happens is that cars will drive slower instead because if it's a wider street cars are always driving fast right well you're you're definitely not going to run over somebody while there's heavy traffic all day every day <laughs> yeah. right? that's for sure <laughs> but but then uh, the interviewer is asking well some of these I, I get it some of these um pedestrian um accidents or people getting run over is because cars are going too fast but then there is another factor to it how many of these pedestrians were not paying attention yeah. because they're on their cell phone but we're not going to blame pedestrians for getting i mean this is the society that we're in we never we never blame a victim for anything way and and so people can argue that if, if it's an accident both parties are at fault there's the, if you really think about it most accidents i mean i would even argue all accidents they're both parties are somehow at fall way i mean it's it's kind of maybe the majority of the accidents maybe there's few cases like 70 percent you were like 70 percent of accidents <laughs> yeah because like, let's say when i was when i was at the red light how was that my fault right i mean yeah. it could have been my fault like you should have stayed home you can pe- yeah. you can be petty and argue that yeah, or you like, should have you know taken a different route i guess you're right made a right yeah i should have made a right yes you're right but I feel like a lot of like, like those. I mean, we're not never gonna blame the victim that gets hit by a car. We're always gonna blame the driver. But I mean, I, I agree with that. Where sometimes you're just distracted on your phone and you don't know what's happening. Man. Yeah, cuantas veces? I mean, you see it every day. I'm sure if you were to fucking like you were saying, take a shot every time you saw a pedestrian at a streetlight at the corner waiting for their. The, the little sign to cross, they're on their fucking phone. Yeah, of course. They're not paying attention to what's going on around them. Yeah, but look look to your other side. The driver next to you is fucking on their phone, He's too. He's on their phone, too. That's that, true. Yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm saying. The phone is just as bad, I would argue. Like, when you think about it, like, when you were talking about, like, uh, see, the, the health, and the, you're talking about that picture of the smoking, pues. Yeah, smoking's fucking really bad for you, but the, I would argue the phone, you can debate that it's just as bad for us in a way. When, I mean, I would even argue that smoke is not even the, the that big of a deal as far as like everything else that we're dealing with like we already completely blew that not to make a pun but blew that uh, that smoke out of the water a long time ago right? <laughs> like i i really think that like he says like there's more villains that are way worse than smoking and 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 definitely the phone there's fucking like 10 years ago the atlantic put out an article that being lonely is more harmful than fucking it's like smoking a pack of cigarettes a day on your health just feeling lonely yeah. so if that's true imagine how many lonely people are in this fucking world where they want to zone out way like i can't i don't know how people i have airpods way 
if I put both AirPods on, it completely muffles. Like it just, it just, it's like Does a weird. Them? It's just like a weird feeling where, like, when you put them on, it's just like, whoo, and all of a sudden, it's like silent. And like, I don't know how people can walk like with that on way. Like, you're not hearing any threats. You're not hearing. You can't really hear like sirens that good until they're like really close. Like you can hear someone's creeping up behind fucking you. Fucking evolution's or, fucking up, bro. Or even like these people fucking walk around the the, the, the city with yeah. these, like the headphones, like the cans that you put over your fucking head. How how are you walking over a city like that and not expecting for something to happen that you're not gonna be aware of what's going on? Where right? you know, it, it it puts you in a little cone, like you're saying, not a little cone, a little bubble, no. Yeah, it puts you in which, a little bubble. Which what it's what people like, but you're saying at the same time it it isolates you away from dangers and I, that's what I'm saying. Evolution fucked up, way because I mean we've evolved to to hear our little chingaritas and be fucking alert, all truchas, way. Pero I mean, if this guy's saying that they're starting to say that you have problems with your neck because of the phone, I feel like humans are gonna start looking different based on that we're always on our phone like our, our oh, posture well they're saying too no wasn't there some theory or something that the thumb's getting longer or some shit because yeah. of the yeah and, or and, that's going to or and some the shit? pinky too because you when you hold your phone well i don't know i haven't heard the pinky one but i've heard the one of the thumb that your thumb's gonna fucking we're gonna evolve our thumbs getting longer <laughs> <or> some <laughs> shit. <we're> fucking <laughs> <laughs> big ass fucking Surely. thumbs up eh? <laughs> imagine those thumb wrestling matches with the long <laughs> yeah, so with, with a 12 inch <laughs> thumb wave <laughs> fucking <laughs> Hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you. Your fucking thumb's gonna be bigger than Chilinski. Holy shit. Sure, that, that's gonna work gonna out in the bedroom. It's <laughs> gonna need a condom. It's yeah, gonna no, need those, right? those Spencer gift condoms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, some would argue. To the <laughs> some would argue. <laughs> like, hey, fucking your thumb game is on, on point. Shit, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, bro, your thumb evolved for good. We're gonna Fuck have to yeah. wear an underwear on this thing. It's gonna be so <laughs> offensive that we're gonna have to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have it. Ah, está haciendo frío. A little thumb beanie. <laughs> little thumb warmer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Little thumb beanie for fucking my thumb, man. It's cold. My hand is a guitarist with a fucking 12 inch thumb. Oh, I right weigh now. 12 inch. 12 inch thumb. <laughs> what the Fuck, Fuck yeah, man. That'd be legit, man. <laughs> I would have to hold the pick like right here, where. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 12 inch <laughs> thumb, it says, way. <laughs> like, it's an antojo. No way. One of you guys said it earlier. I didn't know it's a 12 inch thumb. I said thumb. He's Oh, you, you, you did? Yeah. <laughs> right away. <laughs> oh, I should take it back, bro. It takes a, f- a few moments, I guess, to realize Ramon's right. Yeah, you're 70% of the time paying attention, man. Yes, el pinche. Vamos a start with the, like the, Holy was that shit. movie, the, the Everywhere All At Once, that, that they have those oh, hot the dog hands? Oh, the hot dog hands. I didn't watch that. Was that good? Oh, that shit's good. Yeah? yeah. That's, That's a good, good movie. It deserved the Oscar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. It's a good, I'll, I'll it's a good it story. It's a good, uh, it's it's a heartfelt story, but it's really entertaining. It's funny. It's got a little bit of everything. It's a, it's a, like a classic story in a in a like more modern, yeah, kind of a complex rapper. With that's cool. That one I've been But yeah, well done, so man. it's just like um, people are really addicted to their phones. We we are very addicted to our phones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that I'm not. I look at my phone a lot, way more than I want to, but it's just hard to like operate yeah. in society in 2023 without being fucking on your phone, way. You know? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's a real addiction, way. That yeah. cabrón, way. And all, all kind of bads coming from it, way. But um, would you want to have? Go. Would you want to be in the world where we didn't have those phones, way? You would think you would <sighs> it's give. It's a hard one. We we've lived in that world, way, and we lived it, and we did good. I we mean, but we were we were kids and then semi adults. I mean, well, now yeah. I, now at forty, age, at forty. I mean, I think, I think it would be a different. I don't. I can't. We can't say that we did it because we were really young at those. I, I feel like I mean, at this point in life, I, I my first. I didn't get my first cell phone until like I was twenty two. Yeah, I mean, you're, twenty two. Your brain somewhere. You're not even. You're still fucking moist in the yeah, dome. But, uh, you, know. you still got three years to. <laughs> You still have three years to fucking but be. Here, here's the thing, though. <laughs> Not everybody had a cell phone yet. You know, I I, I got lucky because I, I got a hand me. I, I took over somebody's account from work or else I wouldn't have had one. You know, I wouldn't have gotten a cell phone. But everybody else still had landlines or, or a pager. And it wasn't until what? Like maybe fucking like. 2000, 2003, where everybody started, like, it was, now people could afford them. You mm-hmm. had the Nokias, the little fucking blue ones. Yeah, I remember those. You know, the, the, the you know, 
Todos esos and then like you could go fucking sign up and everybody started getting cell phones by like 2003. Yeah, but I would argue that it was still a long time for it to be what it is. I, I, I feel like when apps really started getting momentum yeah. is when we because before it was just the phone. Like how distracting. How how many times can you call your fucking five contacts that you can keep in there? I mean, it's just <laughs> it was stupid. But then when apps started coming and becoming more like, OK, yeah, yeah. colored screens, like videos on there. That's that's. Mind that was sweeper. that was still a few years off from uh, twenty oh three or oh four. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's when shit started really ramping up. When we we're now we can watch a fucking movie and hear music and go on the internet and watch fucking pornos. Like yeah, that just, was a game changer. It, it right just there. became like yeah. Uh, so that was into this guy's thirties already. Um, um, probably. Yeah. So even even then, I mean, I still remember. I still knew people's cell phone. I mean, I still knew people's phone numbers, their addresses. I didn't rely on fucking on GPS or anything. Now, you know, I think we talked about it last week. That like, you know, people are using GPS for like maybe a five minute drive. You know, I, I try not to do that. I just like, where is it at? I'm like, OK, I'll look at it. I'll see where it's at. Like, oh, OK, I know where it's at. Oh, you mean the app? Yeah, oh. the app. You know, but I have a scare. No, I, 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 for work, I do use it because I don't know that area. Mm. But I see, like, for example, if I'm coming to Fernie's, I'll plug it in or I'll look at it. I'll put the address and they'll tell me 30 minutes. That's but then, exactly what you're saying. Though. No, but I'll look at it. I'm like, okay, it's the same route. There's no, yeah, there's, no there's no traffic. All right, cool. You're doing it for the same reasons other people do it. You think they don't know their streets, but they you do it say, same for that convenience of knowing, oh, let me see what color the line is. Yeah. It's not like your route's going to change. Unless that line is red, yeah, for but, sure. But that's why you're turning it on to begin with. Yeah, we're still using so you're not, you're not you're not you're you're not in the middle or in the gray way. You're solidly. We're on the, still using yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to say it like he's I'm not as bad, <laughs> no, but you're yeah. turning it on for the same reason. We're everybody. still we're still using. It's okay. Wait, I'm there uh, too. Yeah, we're all there. Go fuck. I'll put it if it's two minutes away. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? I'm, I'm fucking going across the street. Like, I'll still I'll put the little walking man. <laughs> I don't need the car. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes no más para ver el piso del bus a ver como le hacen los pobres let's see how the peasants fucking navigate through town a ver como le hacen la chusma no thanks <laughs> <laughs> pinches nacos <laughs> Jesus <laughs> yeah but it's, it's just like it, it's it's convenient anyway. it's convenient on. I it's do get it but it, it but it does um you can still read a Thomas Guide, right? Yeah, I mean, no, I haven't in a making long them, time. No, they just... So I, I think they, they're they not... They making them. I think they... No, they stopped making them, but I oh. think they're, they're just coming back. Or How would they revamp that business? What, what model Some, would Someone bought them out for bought them out, fucking bought it so that they can bring it back, but I don't know if they've actually bought them back. I yet. mean, we still, we still have to remember that a lot of the people are over like 50, 60, so those people might prefer a fucking map. Over. My mom still has a Thomas guy. Yeah, so I mean, it makes yeah, it sense. Yeah, it goes back, that like you're saying, the VCR shit and all that. It makes sense that they would bring it back, actually, now that I think about it. Well, no, también, ya ves, even the Chiquillos now are, are, are into the more tactile, the fucking cassettes, the so it's vinyl. Be, it's, so it's coming back like vinyl, the Thomas no, guy? Yeah, yeah, oh, to shit. have an actual map. Crazy. Oh, you got your fucking ways? Well, I got my Thomas guy. Oh, oh you oh, This guy's you, a hipster. Oh, you're still on ways? No, 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 way. no, no This no, guy's no. a hipster. This is where it's at now. Hold on. I got to find the page. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. They, they customized the, the fucking uh, glove box light to make it fucking really <laughs> bright. And, oh, look. It fucking tells me, fucking <laughs> beams into the map and tells me. That, <laughs> <laughs> no, way. What's that fucking? Oh, you know, maybe you look in the back, look up the street. Okay, okay. Page 5, 523. Okay, 523. All right, five ten three here. Scan the QR code, way. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> que te salga en el phone. Te sale el map ahí. Yeah. That could be, yeah, you know what? That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it is what it is. Super convenient way, but oh, yeah. I mean, just remember when, when fucking, I, I can't remember, 29, 2010 maybe, when when the navigation was a big thing. Oh, esa pinche, esa tiene navi. Remember oh, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. No, in the cars. Yeah, tiene navi. And everybody was fucking stoked on that because you didn't have to print out the map quest anymore. When it used to come like on a little CD or some yeah, shit too. Yeah, <laughs> navy esa. Yeah, pinche. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that, that's one of those things that I mean, like the, the, the navigation was, the, it's a huge convenience. You can fucking find your way now. 
I don't, I don't know if that one, I'm sure there's harm too, no? But because people, everybody now are looking at the little map on the side. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, I, I argue it's not as bad as like social media and all that way. I mean, I feel like the other that I'm probably a victim of is is the, what it does to your eyesight, where like I can, oh, I can barely see a fucking phone now or the screen. My eyes really, like they get drained. I don't know if it's the blue light or whatever, but like I, I feel like, and yeah, you can argue that you're getting older. I'm getting older that my eyesight is, is needing more care. But I feel like <coughs> what phones are doing for your eyesight is, is, is we're we're gonna seventy percent of the of the population is gonna be on glasses, way in my opinion, in the next fucking five to ten years. Hey, you know what? I'll I'll I'll, I'll put money on that one. <laughs> right? I'll put money. Seventy <laughs> percent sounds legit. That's some some old guy talk, bro. But you know, to be fair, there's a lot of people fucking roaming through the town needing glasses and being fucking stubborn. How many people you think need glasses that don't fucking seventy percent? Seventy percent of people. Yeah, that's a good number. For sure. Way. Nice round. For sure. Nice round, fucking solid number way. I, I don't know way, but I mean, could we live without it? Way? I think we did way, so I think we could. But I like it, it'll the convenience. Be, it'll, it'll be uh, fucking um, the withdrawal would be fucking crazy. Porque I mean, yeah, I'm I'm old enough, pues que unlike the chiquillos way that take I I, I I don't know about you guys, but take it I can't be on, on like por decir on Instagram fucking. Like you get into once I start fucking getting to that death scroll that they fucking say where you're just fucking scrolling because you can't find take me and follow it like I, I get like I def start death scrolling because fucking everything's the same shit it's the same ad everybody's trying to do the same fucking little trend it's the same fucking noticia on all every Chicano fucking little fucking account way you're like ah it's the same shit it's all yeah. fucking negative shit yeah eh. so you I. Close it up and then I'm like, uh, do I need to download in the other app? Find something else to pass the time? No. I mean, I'm on YouTube a lot. Where I'm on YouTube a lot too. Like, I don't really ah, dick around. I don't really dick around with like Instagram or I don't even have TikTok really. Way, um, but YouTube does fucking take a lot of my time and a lot of my fucking looking at my phone. And if I'm not, uh, you know, because the computers are having it on, on TV, like I'm always on YouTube on my phone. And at work, I use it. If I'm dealing with an issue, like how do I? test this and that i find something on fucking youtube and i'm fucking on my phone i have it here so i'm always i'm always looking at my screen way and um yeah i mean i i i, I can prove it way because my eyesight is is not that great anymore way but como he says, we're, we're getting older we're we're getting those ages where um once you hit your 40s where your, your eyesight starts declining i mean my parents never wore glasses way and like i, I would argue that us fucking because we're used to technology, even though you said that you had a phone in your 30s, that's still fucking almost 20 years of, of, of seeing a screen. My parents didn't have that. Like, they didn't have to worry about watching a screen. They barely fucking watch TV, way. So we're going to we're gonna need glasses way more. And as I, we go on, people are going to need glasses way more than, than previous generations, so, I think. So if you take anything from this episode, hey. Get your eyes checked. Yeah, or become an optomo- ophthalmologist. Is that yeah the ophthalmologist? No. That's where the money's at. <laughs> that's gonna it's gonna be at. Fucking seventy percent of the world's gonna need glasses. I mean, that's Ra- the Rasa doesn't go to the regular doctor. You I know, seriously. Have a doctor right now. They're not gonna, go, gonna spend. <laughs> that, that would be my argument why our parents don't have glasses. <laughs> 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 fucking. I mean, it's a four hundred dollar. That's bill. why they had yeah. you sign the paperwork and that, read it. Uh, no, yeah. So even if you have a seguranza, that's extra win. Yeah. No, I mean it's. I mean for me, every time I go, it seems like it's a four hundred dollar bill. To get the lens, the frames, and everything. Oh yeah, the glasses, the, the eye, fright, eye yeah. exam. I mean, and not only that, but if you want, like you know, fucking the the bifocal mm-hmm. feature on yeah, it. Eso que quieres, quieres de, de marca como mi amigo, nah, it's, it's, otro, it's, it's yeah. another expense. I used to be like that way, but now it's like, no, nah, I don't want to. Pero sabes que wey, who has four hundred bucks laying around and get their eyes checked? Wey, they don't, they don't want to nope. spend money on that way. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the no, Marlin so lo gastan en la troca perrona, en el cell phone, or pinche the Sunday NFL package. Wow, they got that. <laughs> Liga Mexicana. They got that twelve hundred dollar car bill too. Yeah. So. Uh, that's true. It should get so, expensive. Bro. And then that, that's not even including the rim, the monthly charge for the rims. Compran, gastan como cuatrocientos dólares en la semana en pura chela. 
Sometimes I get, yeah. And sometimes I get like, if I go on, on Instagram, I get a lot of real estate um, agents fucking posting stories and then they have like a badass fucking house and it says like Lakewood, Lakewood, <laughs> fucking 850. And then people in the comments like, they talk so much shit about the price. Comment section's where it's at. Yeah, in the real estate market. <laughs> who the fuck has fucking, who the fuck makes $200,000 a year? They fucking, who the fuck has fucking $30,000 for a down payment? <laughs> who the fuck wants that to pay? That sounds low, 230000 who, who the fuck wants to pay that much for Lakewood? Who the fuck wants to pay that much for Santa Ana? And then, so it gets to all that shit, man. This so, is why California's failing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get Newsom <some> out. <laughs> but don't come to Texas. Oh, man, it gets crazy, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It gets crazy, bro. <laughs> Comments are where it's at, way. Yeah. It, it's fucking, it's baby Reddit. <laughs> 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 Comment section. The pinchy Reddit is toxic as fuck. Boy. I haven't been on Reddit in a while, way. Nah, shit's still you get, the same. You use Reddit a lot? Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say a lot, way, but I, I do a weekly check in, way. What's up, Reddits? Are you like fucking. I don't sub to any, but I fucking like, oh, I'll check like the. I'll look up like the Chicano Shuffle stuff or Chicano stuff or um, like game stuff or uh, like video game shit. Some depends. I like pretty random shit. Wait. But or también, sometimes you're searching for something, you know, like uh, you put it in Google and sometimes Reddit's the one that fucking has. You got to fucking dig through a bunch of people talking shit, but you'll find some good info. Because <laughs> yeah. there's, there's so many people fucking just on their way. Fucking talk, you, you'll get some you'll, you'll find the info the answers you're looking for you just have yeah. to dig through all the fucking crazy shit I don't think I've ever been on Reddit no no mm. way well, yeah but better, better for you, bro. when you go to Google and you type it in sign it and I'll click on that without realizing is it like oh sign up or sign in to Re I'm like you don't wow. need to sign in to see the shit way no I mean I mean these are this is oh maybe on your phone yeah I'm I think like, on your phone it does some, some crazy I'm shit I'm like uh, no thanks it, tell, it asks you if you wanna if you wanna download the app or um, <coughs> view it online cool. or whatever. Yeah, there we go. But you can most of them you can you can view it online or some shit. Mm. Do you subscribe? Like, I know you're like read up on a lot of new stuff. Do you subscribe to like someone like the LA Times and stuff like that or no? Because I know this, I the get ones a, that all the pop ups are two dollars. I, I, I get $2 a, a week. I, or I find like a headline or something like I'm scrolling and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Let me click on it. Nope. Fucking. Pay well. They want me to pay. I'm like, wait, is this everything now? Yeah. Like, it is right. Well. Majority. No, I don't. I don't well, Dick, I don't. I, Seventy percent of everything. Is I, I try to avoid any <laughs> monthly charge way, so no. Yeah. But you know, you get a you get a few a week. But usually, you can find like another article. Sometimes you can find like the, por decir, um, like por, like like Google, not Google, like my well, maybe Google. I think does it too. But the, like Yahoo, that pulls the articles and uses it like with their own thing. Like mm -hmm. I don't know si les pagan or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they pay them. Per article type of shit, but like that, it, it's the same article, pues, but it's on the Yugo, oh. like a Yahoo page or something. Oh, okay, no? like the Yahoo News. So it's like a licensing kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, like a fucking. So oh. you can find some of those, but most of the time, Dick, if they don't have it there, you fucking get like the Associate Press one that they got it from, mm. and they're commenting on type of shit. So might as well you go more to the source. And some of those are hard to fucking cancel away. Like somehow I. I when when I started getting into like the Bitcoin stuff, I, I subscribed to Bloomberg. And so I, I don't remember how much I was paying a month. And then I was like, why the fuck do I have this? <laughs> and like, because it was a bunch of stocks and shit like that that I'm not really interested in. And so I try to cancel it. And dude, you fucking good luck finding the cancel button on these no fucking shit. places, dude. Like they hide it so fucking good they in, bury the, it in these apps. Or yeah, they bury the shit out of those way. And I, and, and yeah, me pasado way that for other things I'm like fuck I need to cancel this and I look for it and I can't find it and then I just let it go I'm like I'll spend some time on it and like two months later three months later I'm like wait I need to cancel this <laughs> so I fucking <laughs> <it's just laughs> cycle, right? and they do it on purpose why would yeah. they want to put the cancel button like right where you can see it yeah like, no yeah. no but I mean all that I mean I think we've talked about it before but that it <sighs> Even even with the, like just in relation to leaving like right away like that, I'm saying you have to dig through a lot of shit to get, but you'll get some good answers on fucking Reddit too. That's why it pops up in Chingo. Pero it's the same thing with news way. Like you go to the news and there's so much fucking BS way and like those fucking clickbait articles and articles that you click and it's literally fucking like five paragraphs of mamadas and then two two sentences that, that that's all you really needed to know way like they bury it in fucking mamas it's almost like written by chat gpt oh well they caught fucking uh i think sports illustrated fucking doing some shit like that way oh, yeah? that they had like ai articles they said they were paying a 
a third party company like to provide articles for them and those what those were like chat GPT in these articles with. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of mamadas. I see you got all the fucking people that call themselves journalists, but they're just looking for the clicks, looking for the same as we were talking about earlier about the um, the people fucking doing good deeds and have to record it. They got to fucking, I'm a journalist, so I got to fucking scoop everything. Everything's got to be the scoop. But just as this thing that we signed the fucking, that, uh, that dude, the Dodgers way, también, the fucking, the day before, eso salió ayer on, on, on Saturday. The Angels pitcher? Yeah, the fucking two-way fucking Otani. That about the, on Friday, they were saying, oh, no, he's going to fucking Toronto. Okay, sources. And because they fucking, everybody's got to put out the fucking, any noticias, I got to get the scoop way, get those fucking clicks, those fucking likes and... So they put that shit out. So everybody, that a bunch of articles came out on every fucking periodical way saying, oh shit, fucking sources, fucking rumores say he's going to Toronto. He's flying there today way. There's going to be a press conference. It was all based on that one article and that one source ended up being some dude from some other fucking periodical that said, oh yeah, uh, I, I, someone fucking me dijo, or I have a source that told me he's flying to Toronto today. So the day he sacaron que he signed He's signing with Toronto. They're going to do a press conference because he's flying there now. And then a bunch of other people, fucking other reporters, are like, no, no way. No, ma-. This is later in the day. We're like, no, no way. The, this vato's at home. We have fucking reports. He's still at home, fucking Southern California. So at the, end of, los at the end of the day, this vato, the vato fucking started told his madre, fucking put out a whole little thing on Twitter, whatever, a whole little apology. Oh, my bad way. I reported an inaccurate information, blah, 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 blah. Because everybody has got to jump the gun way. So... That's what I'm saying. So that even the, the the noticias noticias is no better than Reddit way, because mm. everybody took off that one story way, that one fucking story that didn't fucking really have sources. It was that one dude. I'm assuming every other fucking Sports Illustrated, ESPN, fucking I don't know about like the LA Times, fucking a bunch of fucking fucking things that you would say is legit news. Yeah, ran with it way all on the one on the one fucking like. I don't know, like a Dodgers website way, like not a Dodge, like a Dodgers fan news website shit way. Oh shit! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And they all fucking ran with the fucking tall pinche dia way. That's crazy. Man. Until other people start, other reporters were like, "Oh no way, we got reports that he's at home way, fucking watching Netflix and chilling or whatever." So they don't really have time to dig in to see if it's true, right? Way? Well, no, they don't take the time because someone else might fucking run with it. It's because they don't have to report to anybody. They'll have no accountability as a journalist. You know, you have to have the sources and everything because you got to turn it into your editor. Your editor's got to prove it. Does this, is this legit? Did you fucking fact check? Did you do this? How many sources do you have? How many sources? All right, boom, run with it. But acá, there's, it's fucking carte blanche. But but there's no accountability. But yeah, but pedo is another level from that because now... The, the the legit ones that you're talking about go, okay, well, this guy already published it. Fuck it, wait, run with it. We're publishing some shit too. Type some shit up based on that way. Mm-hmm. And we're publishing that because everybody's got to get the scoop and the clicks way. Uh, so uh, I guess um, I guess journalism, I mean, it, we can they, go. they don't like to be called journalists anymore. No? No, oh, I, I shit. forgot what the... Are we dead naming them ju- too? No, journalists. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... <laughs> Journalist became like uh, was I got you my bad. I don't know if that was appropriate. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it was appropriate. Way. Holy shit! Because <laughs> that that name is something different. I know, yeah, but, but I'm saying if they don't like to be called that, they don't like to be addressed as that. It, it's, just, it's just journalism has uh, within the last five, ten years, whatever. It's it's gotten like a negative kind of attention to it. So they well, this is why. They, they, yeah, no, I mean it's it's their own fault. But they they don't. I mean the ones that are like. Consider like legit journalists. They don't like to be called journalists anymore. No. So what are they going by now? What's uh, I, I don't remember. I mean, my phone's not. But so we can't even pay you these stuff. No, no because the periódico no nice. existe. Everything's uh, online now. Six is the periódico, eh? It's go. It's going away because I was just hearing. No, is it going away? Is it fucking? I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, it's no. a completely different thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> so the thing is, it's, it's like the same shit. <laughs> I mean, he's like, yeah. it doesn't exist anymore, but it's going away. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> that's what he just told us. <laughs> so I was hearing a story on my way here that like a lot of the like, the LA Times, New York Times, they're they're not hard printing anymore. That's what it is. Hey, they they're not doing anymore? newspapers anymore. They're not micro now. You know, everything is on digital. So it's como dices, like if you want an article, you got to subscribe and you get the digital, the digital fucking um, story. Yeah. And and now that like you know, and I was hearing about this is like so that aspect of 
I guess um, newspapers. It's a it's a term now because it was on a paper. Now you're keeping the term, but it's no longer a newspaper. It's all online now. It's all digital. So that's what I meant. Is que ya no existe. You know the the whole. But I mean, that's, like if you if you if you um, if you if you publish on a, a a paper on a medical journal, even though it has paper, it doesn't literally mean that. It's like a physical paper. Yeah. I feel like that's a little too petty way, like to say like yeah. it's not. Why, why change newspapers? Newspaper? Don't yeah, like why change it? Like this is what we know. Way stop trying to be a little extra. Way <laughs> no, no, no. This is well, this is what I'm, I'm not saying. Oh, you okay. this, like, this turned into the comment section. No, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, all for it. I'm not saying you. I'm yeah, saying yeah. I'm saying the the LA Times and the the New York Publish. Times. <laughs> and, yeah. Why change newspaper? It doesn't literally mean like yeah. if you publish a paper. Are you publishing paper? You're not publishing paper. Wait, like they're they're. This is so yeah, there, there was something about that. So I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, you hardly have any subscription. Like people, you don't have the 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 daily subscription where every morning I'm not un periódico in tu casa anymore. You know, you don't have. You're not going to the store to buy the Opinion or the LA Times or anything. You hardly see the the newspaper in in stores anymore. If you walk in. Like if you, you go to Seven Eleven, sometimes yeah. Yeah, so if you go to Seven Eleven, look for the the newspaper. It's not there anymore. Mm. Oh, sure, it's not. No, yeah, and some of them might still have them because there's still people depending on the the. Oh, the boys, we're back the, to this. No, no, no. Depending on the, the <laughs> depending on Se- the seventy percent of people. Seventy <laughs> percent of Seven Eleven's got rid of them. <laughs> depending on the area, like if it's a neighborhood where the majority of the of the residents the there are older, they still have it for them. Yeah. You know, but if I was like to downtown. Or that's in the, where it's all fucking, you know, fast life or like, you I know, like fast I'm life, mass covenants or whatever. I, I know like. they don't have them in there, you I know. Mean. So, again, it depends where you're going, but it's not as common as it the used to be. The higher the fentanyl use, the less the newspapers are. <laughs> yeah, abundant. you're considered a hipster now if you read a newspaper. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I like oh. the tactile feel. <laughs> hey, but if you think about it, you know how many fucking stories were in the newspaper? Do people really read all of them? I people used to read yeah, the whole people. fucking paper, yeah. like and you had a ritual. whole day to do it, right? Well, days, I'm sure. Well, because every day there was a new newspaper. But I, 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 I to, to be fair, I think people had their own columns that they were worried about. But you had to buy the whole paper to get to that column. Yeah, a lot of people just wanted the sports, right? And and I remember the coupon section was fucking massive when I was a kid. Like people wanted the coupons that came with the newspaper. I remember that. Not the men. Yeah. So they they don't care about the news. They just want to say. Hasta I remember people were waving those little pinches coupons from hey, bro, the fucking. Sometimes you just need it the movie times. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The same, bro. Or or like oh. the, the 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 what is it the the schedule for the the week the, the day of the TV programming. Or, is the TV program yeah. in there? Or a ver, a ver quién se murió Yeah, in the obituary. Yeah. Nah, oh, maybe I just want to see how, how the fishing was. Or... A ver who got divorced. I'm like, ah, vamos a este yard, a ver qué venden aquí, que <laughs> se murieron. <laughs> <laughs> Cómo estuvo la pesca ayer, güey. <laughs> yeah. Know, right? Yeah, you saw the obituaries. And that's th- those were the scams back in the days. The scams? The scams. Oh, shit, who's scamming? The, the tranzas. With the like, a lot of people would see the obituaries, and then they were like, sometimes they will scam people because they'll call up and say they're psychic or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You I know? didn't hear about Fucking, that. Fucking, hey, I just, I just had a dream, or I, I was just reached by your by so-and-so. Does this ring a bell? Like, oh, my God. Or they try to extort money yeah. from them. Like, if they have a missing teen or something, they're they're like, oh, I have information. Like, is yeah. there a reward? Están pagando? Yeah, like shit like that. Right? Yeah. That sucks, oh, dude. That, that's in that level of stealing from the elderly people. Nah, it's Ramon. No, because you're giving people hope, like their daughter or their son or, or relative or, yeah. is missing, and you're calling them to say like I got info. Like you're giving them hope, like that's fucked. And up. then you're giving them fake info too, because you don't really have info. Fucking si te vas a by the Azusa Mountains, fucking mm. by this fucking marker, I, you'll find some some information there. Dude, yeah. do you remember the Monta Williams show? Yeah. Do you remember Sylvia Brown? Oh, la, la, the, the psychic that would oh, go and Simone, talk. Simone, 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 Simone. Such a scammer, dude. And we would eat it up fucking as kids fucking watching that shit. Well, she would talk to the dead way. Do you remember or no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds familiar. I think when you see her face, you'd yeah. be like. All, all of those shows had their, their own the psychic. Little, yeah, no? yeah. But it's not like that. Uh, and version. it was really like, like fucking, like really like obvious things that you would point out like. 
Fucking your antennas de vinilo start going yeah. off. Like, yeah. uh, like, oh, like, I, like, I'm picking up someone here. Like, it's like, he has brown hair. It's like, brown uh, hair, anybody? yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, um, what did your grandpa do? Oh, he was a carpenter. Okay, car- oh, I'm seeing a man with a pencil in his uh, <laughs> front pocket. Yes, yes, he yeah. always had a pencil, oh, yeah. but he had it in his ear. That's right, it's That's in his right. ear, not in his pocket. Oh, no, no, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And he he didn't, he, he didn't use a sharpener. No, he was, oh yes, it is a sharpener, not a razor blade. Okay. Y usted señor que era su tío. Oh, es que mi tío era mecánico. Oh, veo los las uñas bien sucias. Las uñas bien sucias. Sí, sí, sí. Lo lo veo sentado con una cerveza. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, 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 sí. Está comiendo carne seca. Sí, sí, sí comía carne seca. Mucha, mucha carne seca. Incluso de eso murió del colesterol muy alto. Está pinche carne seca. Such obvious thing. Y cirrosis. Wow. Estaba rojo de la cara. Tu tío tenía el hígado tóxico. Sí, 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 es cierto. Sí lo tenía. They throw out some obvious oh. issue. And then they get it wrong. Way. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Espérate, no, no. Me estoy... Es que no, es todo, no, no, soy, no siempre todo está claro. You know what, though, bro? The, 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 the one that kind of goes uh, with that same kind of woo-woo shit is the... Uh, Remote viewing and the government acknowledged that it's true. Did you see that way? The which one? Remote, remote viewing. That they that supposedly there's there's people that can see like like if they had like a prisoner somewhere, like the government is utilizing people that they they have in like a room, let's say like this, and they start to meditate or they start to do that these exercises, breathing or whatever, and they can remote view see where this prisoner's at and give information to the government as to where this person's being held at so they call it remove viewing because you can literally see another country like you can see like the map of like the building and everything just by sitting in and in, 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 like that's in this case the u.s so they're they're acknowledging that it that it can happen way like remote viewing the government's literally saying that yeah this is yeah. legit when they, they well, acknowledge that this this can happen n- not too long ago but that, that's this, supposedly this is not that a fucking lsd experiments from yeah the, from the 60s i don't or 70s i don't think it's the the MK, mk ultra yeah, and that? no yeah. I, I feel like this is different. Maybe it could be the same thing. I don't know. But I, I've heard before that the government utilizes remote viewing and, and people give them information kind of like that. Oh, this this prisoner that's in fucking Pakistan, um, they're being held here. And this I is... See, a, I see a lot of desert. This is, and, and this program is <laughs> this program is run by Sylvia Brown. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I feel like we, we can uh, completely fucking demolish that career where we should we should get that. We should go and fucking we make bank. We can excel? Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Imagine, like you said, I see desert. <laughs> I see, uh, I see uh, uh, tumbleweed. No, no, I see iron, iron bars. Okay, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, yeah, that means he's locked up. Yeah, yeah. I see walls and dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's a dark space. It's kind of musty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Musty. I see camels. There's a lot of camels. <laughs> Fuck. But a lot of barbudos. Wow. I see a lot of barbudos. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and a language I don't understand. <laughs> glorious, <laughs> glorious beards. <laughs> uh, 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 there's a little window. I see a lot of desert. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going mental, bro. Yeah, we're totally I mean, gonna fucking dominate this industry. Yeah, we, 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 could, we could do like a. Hey, They'll it's make never, statues of it's us. It's never bro. been done before. Three guys fucking remote viewing at the same time. Remote viewing and completely different fucking <laughs> yeah. information. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> okay. one night, one Ra- event. Ramon sees coconuts. I see fucking desert. So. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it could be an island. <laughs> Fernie sees water. I, I see unas palmeras. <laughs> I see a uh, Wilson ball. <laughs> Wilson ball. Wilson. I see. I see rocks. El Brandon y el Fortunato están juntos. El Bradley. Seventy percent of the terrain is desert. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh shit. Oh, wait, wait. Pasa, uh, no, no, no. Pues ya llegamos. Ya llegamos espantado. al final del episodio. That was fun. Yeah, wey. Oscar yesterday asked me how many more episodes we're doing this year, and I told him, I don't know, bro. I think one more. One more? One yeah. more after this. One more after this. And then it's, um, then we don't know. 
Uh, we don't know. It's up in the air. 2024 is... It's up in the air. Shout out to Oscar. Happy happy late birthday, bro. Oh, de veras. De veras. Talk to him yesterday. He fucking thought I was like, I was shooting the shit with our drummer. Like how like, you know, 40s, early 40s, you're like in the prime of your life. And then fucking Oscar comes up and, and we started chatting and then we started, we're like, I tried to include him in the conversation and we're like, oh, we we're just talking about how we feel like we're in our prime. And Oscar's like, oh, well, you're like 31 or 32. And I was like, why am I going to be 42 next year? I don't know. He was joking, but thank you, Oscar. I felt, um, felt that the Botox is working. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think he was trying to sell you something. I know. Hey, Oscar, I have insurance, bro. Relax. <laughs> Hey, El Jefe. Yeah, no, I, I did apologize that I wasn't able to make his birthday party. Uh, you were hanging right out with the Chilangos, bro. I was, I was right fucking... Away. You're man. walking between stages. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. You know, so... No, bailando la chona. Feliz cumpleaños. Pretty heavy duty fucking. Yeah, it's got the metal. It's got the Holy metal. Shit, metal bro. Brace on the side. He's got the fucking stone cold Steve Austin <laughs> braces. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Hey, but is that American fucking metal or what, bro? Are you peddling Chinese fucking metal? <laughs> uh, I think everything's China now. Let me see how hollow that fucking Chinese hey. piece slab of metal is. Well, it's bro. got a Chinese knee, apparently. Yeah, well, <laughs> even even baby Jesus was made in China. <laughs> he was. A, he yeah, was. It's in China. <laughs> and he has that flat part. Of his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What up, Raza? Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing and DMing us, and you know, make putting in the comments and liking the post. It told us madre. Yeah, next week is our our final episode of the year, 2023. So make sure you you know. Keep us in your Christmas wishes. Que regresemos. Make sure that like we we'll be able to support us. Y les sobra dinero para la Navidad. Hop out with Patreon. Or I don't know if you if you do if you order now you could get a you could start giving away Ch- Chicano Shuffle shirts. We go to the website, right, Fernie? Mm, maybe, maybe. All right. I don't know what the cutoff is. Yeah. So, apúrense. Un chingo de gracias. We love you all. And um, pues hasta la próxima, ¿no? Simón, así es. Así a es. Por ahí, al rato se estaré. I would argue Ramon appreciates 70% of you, eh? Yeah, actually, that's about right. I have those 70%, okay. Good, solid number. I don't care for. <laughs>